Hello, hello, chat. Good morning. Chronovision, thank you for the tier 1 11 months. Hello, Twitch chatters. Moody Pixel, Raymond, Rarichi, Pimar Disco, and Chronovision. Hello, YouTube, Mateo, and Raymond. Hello, hello. How are you doing? Welcome. Hello, Our Supremacy. Hello, Kevin Lee. Chat, we are once again, we are once again live on both YouTube and Twitch. And today we are going to be doing the Lantern Riot quest. Hello everyone, welcome, welcome, good morning. Well, maybe good evening for a lot of you, but also good morning from here. <laughs> How's everyone doing? How's your weekend been? How's your week been? Welcome, welcome. It's nice to see you all here. I have... I, so last time I was live, we did Xian Yun's uh, story quest. And yeah, at that point, and even until now, I had not touched, touched Lantern right. So that's what we're going to be doing today. You're just biased because of Gaming. Yeah, you know, I heard, I saw like so much love for Gaming. Hello, Jubin. Welcome. Hello, Jetty and Hexwan and, and the goddamn moon. Welcome. So excited. Yes. Matching cat gym shirts. That's so cute. Kevin Lee says this lantern ride is super cute. I hope so. My username is so dangerous. Yeah, I've gotten that. I've. <laughs> Yeah, I know what you mean, but you know, I have like a bigger, like, I have a bigger problem alternating in my S's and A's, so like when I type on the keyboard on my phone, so it's like a lot of sevi playa, a heavy playa. Is it too early for a character review? You know, I think we can do, I think we can pop that in before we, before we begin, um, before we begin the uh, quest proper. Go ahead, why not? Um, and then we'll put that on cooldown in a little bit after. Hello, Ghost Channel. So, uh, YouTube chat, for reference, um, my Twitch chat has channel point redeems because Twitch does that. YouTube doesn't have that yet. It doesn't have native channel points. So I use channel point redeems for um, for things like for certain requests like you know you have the ordinary hydrates but then you also have like the character reviews and stuff um, which are like which come in from time to time. So whenever I uh, stream on Twitch well, I, where I'm not like you know like dedicating the entire stream or when I have time basically I do entertain these requests. Um, but then, for streams like today, it's going to be kept at a minimum. Alright, let me just... Um... Luna! What are you doing? <laughs> Alrighty. Oh my gosh, navigating... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Navigating OBS is so hard with uh, these two things. I'm a bit slow today, but anyway, we'll we'll be getting to it anyway. It's fine. Hang on a sec, chat. Alrighty, there we go. So, coming C six. Crowned on the skill. 74, 168 on Serpent Spine, 4 Crimson Witch. Ooh, and you got an EM Sans also with like really good substats. Okay, okay, I see that. I see that. ER. Okay. In some aspects, this might. I see that a lot of it is coming from your circlet, which is an off piece. Sometimes. 
Like if you if you have like the fav and you're playing with Bennett and you have enough particles going around, like 150 can be a bit high. Like those could be, you could go for a circlet with like a little less ER and then more in the offensive stats. But like right now, this is this is a good build overall. You have a good number of subsets to work with. You are not lacking in ER. So overall, like very nice build. We have like two, three, seven. Wow, 70.5 crit rate on the feather. 12, 13, 16, 17, 19 substats, 22 substats, 24 substats, okay, and then 26. And then we have 29 here, and then... So it's like 30-ish, 30-ish, 30 plus, counting a bit of the ER, which can be a little bit over, but overall, as long as it's good that you're not lacking. So very good build overall. Alrighty. Now then, chat, it's time to... <laughs> did it, did, did, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I, I'm not, I'm actually not a Yu-Gi-Oh kid, but uh, I, I know what that is. I know how that goes. It's better than your gaming. Haven't had time to level up the rest of his skills yet, but I'm proud of it so far. You should be proud of it. You should be proud of it. It's really good. Corona Vision, thank you for gifting a sub to JJ the Pyromaniac. Thank you, thank you. Anyway, chat. Am I doing every part of the lantern ride in one sitting? You know what? I'm gonna try. <laughs> I'm gonna try. Um, we're gonna be alternating the quest and the mini games just so that we can have like breaks from the dialogue or breaks from the quest and stuff so we're going to be alternating that and then we're going to uh see how long that takes i heard it can take like maybe three to four hours but i kind of have time today i mean the only thing i i need to do is like later in the afternoon so if i have to eat lunch in front of the computer why not right <laughs> this is this is like the first time I mean, not the first time, but I'm finally tackling Lantern, right? And it's a nice one, so. Dark Jaguar, thank you so much for the Prime. Thank you. Early stream, yeah, early stream today. Um, Akron Guide, when? When she comes out. <laughs> Welcome, Furfuza. Um, they didn't get any joking. You felt so embarrassed. Aw. Don't worry about it. That's, um... Sometimes it just depends on the uh, the streamer or the community, you know, or the chat. Um, sometimes you just want people to understand your sense of humor. All right, chat. I think it's time to start. We are hit the, the 10 minute mark, which is always a good time to start. So let's just, let's, let's go to the quest. Yeah. Navigate. Um, where are we going? Oh, of course, we're starting in Leo Harbor. I'm not surprised at all. Oh, okay. Anyway, chat, feel free to chill, grab some popcorn, or a snack, or breakfast. <laughs> or breakfast if you are uh, here in Southeast Asia. And uh, see what happens. Yeah, look at the profile. Um, either if you're still here at the end of uh, Lantern Right Quest and you have the uh, channel point redeemed, then you can redeem it. Um, but for now, we're gonna focus on the quest. Chilling engaged. I love that. Take a walk around the <laughs> Harbor. Okay, you know, usually I would like jump down. Usually I would jump down, but then. I feel like today I want to be a bit more authentic and uh, actually take a walk around Liga Harbor. Switch to walking. There we go. Oh, Charlotte. Dude, Charlotte is like our traveling person. She's everywhere. I love it. I love seeing her pop up everywhere. I love hearing Charlotte talk, actually. Like, she's one of my favorite characters to listen to talk. Coaching and Charlotte. Paimon never thought she'd see you two together. Nice to see you again, Traveler and Paimon. Oh, we're not interrupting anything, are we? <laughs> not at all. I wasn't in the middle of an interview or anything. I was just asking Miss Kuching about purchasing a kite. Oh, okay. A kite? Are you buying some regional specialties to bring back to Fontaine? 
Well, yes. And... And? <laughs> it seems you haven't heard yet. The theme of this year's lantern rite is kites. Oh, so that's why Paimon has seen so many floating in the sky. Hi, Mixel. Hi, Seer Echo. Liyue Harbor is always changing, so it is only fitting that lantern rite should change in turn. Okay. The yes. Chishing believes it would benefit Liyue to build on our own cultural foundation by embracing the technologies of other nations. After all, it is said that the stones of another mountain may serve to better polish one's own jade. Wow, poetic. Yeah, remember my business meeting with Tian Chuan Ningguang the last time I was in Liyue Harbor? That's what it was about. Really? That's okay. But That's such a big all thing. I really did was use my network to introduce Lady Ningguang to some interesting people. Oh. I'm not sure that quite counts as fostering cooperation. Oh, Charlotte has a network. She's a network girl. In the end, we decided to combine Liyue's traditional art of kite making with Fontaine's mechanical vertical lifting device. Mm. Mechanical lifting device? Sounds pretty impressive. Hi, Madras. Hello, Mecca. Yes, Ast is still good to build. Uh, but don't kites just use the wind to fly? Why would you need to add something mechanical? Well, you've actually just answered your own question, Paimon. Mm. How high and far a kite can fly depends as much on the weather conditions as on the skill of the person holding the string. A whopper flower kite. But as soon as there's no wind, you can only flail about helplessly like a sweet flower medaka out of water. Experience doesn't matter at that point. Exactly. Liyue is now a nation ruled by humans, after all. It's about time we had the power to make a kite fly, don't you think? Yeah. Plus, the easier we can make it to enjoy, the more people will want to participate. Just get your animal vision holder friends <laughs> and ask them to get you a breeze. Right? I also thought it was a novel idea. Plus, it shouldn't cost much to do. With Miss Charlotte's help, everything has gone smoothly. Our new mechanical kites are already available to purchase from a stall Oh my god, they have a jade chamber. <laughs> We're having trouble keeping up with demand. We also gave quite a bit of thought to the price. We didn't want it to be too much more expensive than a traditional kite. Cool! Turns out you two and Ningguang like playing with toys just as much as Paimon! Mm -hmm. uh, toys? Mm, toys, no. They're not exactly... Toys. They're cultural artifacts, Paimon. <laughs> you see, Miss Kuching, that does seem to be everyone's first reaction. Hmm. Although kites are one of our most time-honored cultural relics, outside of their use in certain ceremonies, I suppose they're considered playthings more than anything now. Oh no. <laughs> uh, Landon Wright still has a week to go, so. But to me, there's so much more than that. Which I'm relieved for. Oh, I, I miss Kuching, actually. Think for a second about how remarkable it is that a flimsy paper kite attached to a string has the capacity to touch the sky. It is this slight piece of paper that also carries the weight of Liyue's cultural traditions. There's an old poem that goes, O kite born of paper, flying true and sound, a lone traveler wanders, just waiting to be found. In the past, poets from Liyue oh, used kites okay. to symbolize a feeling of longing or evoke the peacefulness of idyllic rural scenery. If the people of today can derive enjoyment from this activity, they will not only be more likely to better appreciate the tradition, but also to pass it down to the people of tomorrow. That's the Kuching we know, always thinking five steps ahead of anyone else. Well said, Miss Kuching. I've learned quite a bit myself. <laughs> As long as you're willing to listen, I'm happy to share. I also know quite a lot about the various folk traditions related to kites. For example, whenever a kite blew away, people would say it was the Adepti that summoned <laughs> the wind to take it away as an offering. That way, you can turn an unfortunate event into an auspicious one. Ah yes, yeah, so true. Just, just put a good old metaphorical spin on it. What about something more fun? Do you know anything like that? Huh? More fun? Okay, Paimon. Hello, Vivian and Lake Noir. More fun. Hmm, let me think. Oh, I suppose we should first talk about how kites are made. It's another one of our precious forms of traditional craftsmanship. My grandfather told me that, back when he was a boy, 
children learn the art of kite making step by step from their elders. First, you use the thin strips of bamboo to construct the frame. Then, you draw a design of your choice on a piece of paper, paste it onto the frame, and tie on the string. Are we gonna make kites? Then, you look towards the sky and release the kite to soar among the clouds. Some people write down certain names or desires on their kites, cut the string, and let them fly free. Others may place particular thoughts or meaning into the design itself. Are certain designs associated with certain meanings? <laughs> I'm gonna jot all of this down. Yeah, I don't know if any of you had to make kites for high school for a science project or anything, but we did. And, uh... Mine did not fly. <laughs> it, was, it had to be made out of... Yeah, 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 mine did not fly. They were all supposed to be paper kites. Um, and mine didn't do great. Hmm. Well, for example, kites in the shape of a butterfly typically symbolize freedom, happiness, or the desire to break free. Fascinating. What else can you tell me? The scissored-tailed swallow is the most classic design. It symbolizes good fortune and joyful tidings. Different colors also have small variations in meaning. Are these commonly understood meanings and symbols in Liyue? Kind of like the language of flowers in Fontaine. Hmm, I believe so. Most have probably heard something about it from their elders at some point. Oh, you made parachutes and then you made cars. You made one like 25 years ago. Okay, yeah, I mean, physics and science, they do ask you to make these things. I hope yours went well. <laughs> I hope yours went better than my kite. If you're interested, Miss Charlotte, I have several books on the topic that I could lend you. Hmm. They could be a useful reference. That would be a huge help. Great. Looks like I've got the outline for quite the article on my hands. Perfect. We're gonna take a look around. Then I'll show Miss Charlotte to my home for a little while. Oh. Ah, I almost forgot. The Ministry of Civil Affairs is oh. hosting a kite flying contest on the night of Lantern Rite. Ah, high school flashbacks. If you're interested, you're more than welcome to bring a kite and participate. The rules are simple. Whoever flies their kite the highest and furthest within the time limit will receive a special honor along with a secret prize. I've already prepared more than enough empty film for the event. I can see the spectacle already. Oh, Paimon was on board the moment you said secret prize. <laughs> then I'll look forward to seeing your performance. You bet! See you then! Bye! I'll miss you. Come back soon. Wait, Traveler? Take a peek to your right. Do you see those two people lurking over there? Hmm. Is it just Paimon? Or were hmm. they staring at us the whole time we were talking to Kuching and Charlotte just now? Hmm. They seem fishy. I know who they are because of... Spoilers. Huh. Well, yes, but... Something's up. Paimon just has a bad feeling. Do you think they could be treasure hoarders? <laughs> they always seem to be stirring up trouble during Lantern Rite. Treasure hoarders don't dress all fancy. Oh, I'm on sick of waiting around for something bad to happen. We should strike first, you know? Foil Whoa. their plans before they even begin. That was cute. I like that. You go right, Paimon will go left. Wait, Paimon. Oh my god, why is Paimon so ready to fight today? <laughs> Paimon, calm down. <laughs> It is with such an air of urgency that you appear before us. Your comportment suggests you believe us to have committed some heinous crime. Bro. Perhaps you could enlighten us as to your intentions. Okay, well, yeah, this is obviously not a normal human. Like, even if I didn't know. We, we, we know you. Whoa, where did this buddy daddy but, come from? But, buddy daddy. You should be the one doing the enlightening, buddy. Hey, yo. Don't think we didn't notice you eavesdropping. One look and we could tell you were up to no good. Tell us everything, starting with your name. Damn, Paimon. Uh, You're not the Millilith. One bears no secrets before two such as yourselves. You stand in the presence of the mighty and illuminated Adeptus, Mooncarver. Zack is Mooncarver? For the purpose of this foray into the mortal realm, however, you may address one as Ho-Chong. Ho-Chong, okay. You kidding? That 
Deer's got his head stuck so far up in the clouds. There's no way he'd humble himself down here with the rest of us. Dude, I feel like Paimon, that's so out of pocket, and you're like talking right to him. <laughs> uh, you may want to hold your tongue, Paimon. Yeah. <laughs> believe you just because you know her name let paimon guess you're supposed to be mountain shaper right um, um, no, um, no. <laughs> dude paimon's face is so funny wait indeed mooncarver and myself have descended upon the mortal realm for a visit the two of you may call me jiahu jiahu okay huh. looks like you did your research but in our experience the harder you try to lead us on the more likely it is that we've got a big fish on our hands Okay, Paimon, props to you for being quite a character. We'll go straight here. to the Millilith and have you arrested for impersonating a death guy. Uh, preposterous. Utterly preposterous. Perhaps you can prove it. Well, yeah, turn into a deer right now. Would know. And it better not be some common knowledge that any person on the street could tell you. <sighs> During the last lantern rite, we gathered at Mount Hulao with Rex Lapis and made use of Cloud Retainer's Supreme Cuisine Machine to prepare bamboo shoot soup. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you have some recollection? The flavor of that soup was more than enough to whet one's appetite. As such, Cloud Retainer assented to my use of the device beyond that singular occasion, mm. providing other recipes to boot. Since then, one has dabbled in the pleasures of the culinary arts whenever time allows. Culinary. Wow, I don't think I've... Okay. Dabbled? Upon one's last sojourn to your mountain, did you not immediately attempt to hide the device behind a chunk <laughs> of amber as soon as one's presence was known? Hey, yo, are they okay? All right. Uh... Did one not speak up on your behalf but a moment ago? This is how you choose to repay that kindness? Damn. They're One is it. simply trying to emphasize the veracity of our claim. Mm -hmm. That does not mean you should reveal personal matters so readily. They might think one bears no difference from Cloud Retainer. <sighs> Forget it. One does not have the breath to waste on such petty trifles. Mm. Well, who else could they be? Ah, uh, that might have been more detail than we needed. <laughs> Seems like you two are the real deal, and Paimon, sorry for suspecting you. But, I. Uh, for beings as forgiving as yourselves, this is just water under the bridge, right? Oh, I'm so sorry, Stream Element sneezed. Welcome, Sal. You indeed have an agile mind. Cloud Retainer was not mistaken in her high estimation of you. Paimon's still curious about something. It's just, Paimon can understand why Mountain Shaper is here, but why did you decide to come to the city, Mooncarver? It's not really your thing, is it? Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> it is but, but an inevitable, inevitable eventuality. eventuality. Are they okay? Long have the mountains remained strangely idle since Cloud Retainer's move to Liyue Harbor. Aww. With Lantern right near at hand, one would expect Cloud Retainer to provide us with an account of the festivities in advance. Yet to this day, she has failed to appear. Oh, they miss her. Cloud Retainer is hardly the forgetful sort. One must never rest idle in the face of that which demands action. And since our acquaintances dwell in Liyue Harbor, we had to travel here in human form to avail ourselves of their aid, Cloud Retainers in this case. Mm. But a moment ago, one heard you speak of a mechanical kite of sorts. It appears the essence of the situation has hitherto revealed itself. Now, it is time for one to retire back to one's abode. Hmm. Huh. So, you're not looking for Cloud Retainer anymore? Perhaps there are aspects of Cloud Retainer's temperament that remain opaque to young Paimon. Given one's understanding, hey, young one can Paimon. only imagine the anger that now consumes her. Huh? Cloud Retainer is of a proud and arrogant yeah. disposition. She holds the belief that her skill in mechanics surpasses that of all others. One can be quite certain it is hardly with an open mind that she regards the arrival of this new technology. So she's just that proud, huh? One surmises that she has shut herself away, refused all company, and buried herself in the study of her own creations. 
To call on her would only invite her rebuke. Damn. However, if you do happen to cross paths with her over the next few days, do pass along one's regards. Sure, leave it to us. Dude, they should just barge in and, and like drag Claude Retainer to a restaurant or something. Have a safe trip back, enjoy the scenery, and happy lantern ride! Thank you for your kind words. We shall now depart. Goodbye. Nice seeing you. Hello, Raz guy. <sighs> we got all worked up for nothing, huh? All that trouble and it turned out to be people we knew all along! Yeah, Paimon, you're so ready to throw hands. Well, it's still pretty early. Let's head over and check out the kite stalls. Paimon wants to see what kinds of kites we can buy to use in the competition. The big... Oops. Sorry, I didn't mean to, uh... Do that. Okay. Mini game's not unlocked yet. We keep going. Uh, welcome! Are the two of you looking to buy a kite? Would you like me to go over the different designs? Yes. And a butterfly! And I want the Jade Chamber actually. Uh, this Jade Chamber design is oh, our okay. newest. It's been selling like crazy over the past two days. I have a good eye. That 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 one looks trendy F. Does it also have a unique meaning? Of course. The Jade Chamber symbolizes wealth and abundance. The kite bearing its design is said to bring riches in the future to those who fly it. Oh, Paimon. Oh, now that's Paimon's kind of kite. I apologize for the interruption, but are all your wares in order, Miss Genuine? Uh, yes, yes, they're just over there. The paper, bamboo, and dyes. All the necessary kite-making materials. I've flown kites, but not successfully. <laughs> Wonderful! I'll pack them up and get a guard to deliver the goods to Yilong Wharf for you. Yilong Wharf? Oh, wonder what that place is like during Lantern Ride. Paimon would love to go take a look. Well, if the two of you are interested in going to Yilong Wharf, then could I trouble you to find Gaming and deliver these goods together? Yeah, I would love to find Gaming. Jade Chamber kite is prone to falling. <laughs> Buy kites for your teapot. Ooh. Is Gaming the guard you just mentioned? Oh, yes. The communications office handles shipments and transports around Liyue. He works for the Secure Transport Agency, one of our sub-organizations. Uh, the problem is, many of my colleagues have taken leave during Lantern Rite to spend time with their families. So, our available workforce has seen a dramatic decrease recently. If you were willing to help out, then I could get a head start on my next appointment. <laughs> Alright, time to do fetch quests again. You do seem really pressed for time. Oh, wonderful. Uh, you will, of course, be compensated for your efforts. Now, at this time of day, coming should be somewhere in the vicinity. Mm. But just follow the main road until you see the head of a Wusho dance costume. Should be on your right. Be sure to come back if you'd like to buy a kite. I'll even give you a discount. Thanks. I love discounts. Weathering waves tomorrow, yes. On Twitch, weathering waves tomorrow. Good morning, Shahidula. And good morning to newcomers. Wait, I thought we had an agreement. A loser buys dim sum tomorrow? <laughs> Look at you. Scowl like that for much longer and your face might stay that way. Hey now, don't be upset. How about this? You extend the invitation and I'll pay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Kalos's VA. Uh, no way, Gami. You're always the one picking up the tab. I'm not trying to be a sore loser. I just didn't expect you to Damn. come from behind a win like that. <laughs> That was nothing. All in a day's work, friend. Oh my gosh, his eyes are so shiny. Perfect, Gaming is here. Sorry to interrupt, Gaming. We just spoke to a guy from the community. I love his office hair. Who needs you to deliver some goods to Elon Moore. Oh, it must have been Longjo. Looks like I've got work. You gotta go. You gotta go. Sure, go do your thing. Uh, let's have a rematch when you get back. I won't let you win so easily next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> Alrighty, you can hand the goods over to me. Must have been heavy hauling them all this way. Let me take them off your hands. Wait, that's a big box. Eh, it wasn't that bad. It's just some kite-making materials. Plus, we didn't have to walk very far. Kite-making materials. I see, I see. Wait, I want to see him. <laughs> I want to see him haul that. Uh, what time? Around this time. 
No way his name is Gaming. It is. Hi, Willow. Happy three stream streak. I'm glad it wasn't too much trouble, Paimon. Still, I owe you one. Ah, and you must be the traveler. It's nice to meet you. Thanks for your help. Yeah, we're famous and all. Huh? You know us? Mm-hmm. <laughs> there probably aren't many in Liyue who don't. I've heard quite a bit about you two. You're quite well known around these parts. Oh, and please excuse Longzhou if he forgot to thank you. Uh, take my thanks in his place. He's a good guy. He's just been super busy lately, running around from place to place. Don't be too hard on him, yeah? He's like a ball of sunshine. No thanks. Mr. So, you here for Lantern, right? Yep. It's always so lively this time of year. We were actually hoping we could tag along to Elong Wharf and have a look around. Perfect. We'll go together then. I'm good with directions, so just follow me. Trust me, I know my way around. We can exchange stories, tell jokes, or just chat along the way. Yeah. Oh, and there are a couple of good places to eat along our route. We can stop and grab a bite when it's time. The ingredients are fresh, the portions are generous, and the prices won't break the bank. You can order anything, and I promise you won't be disappointed. I feel like it would make a great tour guide, honestly. Order anything? Hey, did you really have to call Paimon out like that in front of our new friend? <laughs> Don't worry, I understand. I joke around like that with my friends, too. It just shows how close you are. You're so cute! You're so cute! Do you need to pack anything up before we hit the road? I can wait. Nope, our things are always packed and ready. We're pretty much travel experts at this point. Oh, that's right. Then let's get going. If we run into any trouble, you can count on me to protect you. I am a guard, after all. Okay, Mr. Guard. <gasps> Game's unlocked. Oh my god, so cute! I love that! So don't know how his kit works. My guy's always there if you need it. He's the nicest and friendliest character in Hoyo World. Cuff me Daddy Risley! Thank you for the three stream streak. Congrats on securing that username. <laughs> Alright. You didn't realize that Gummy's VA is also, is also Kalos in HSR. Hello, Corn. Welcome everyone. All right, so we can do some of these. Let's let's do this one. This seems cute. Oh wait, no, I think this is a different one, but it's fine. Let's just let's start one. We're the cream of the crop. Pigeon Adeptus AU. Okay. Oh, it's so cute though. Okay. J extra calories, sure. Always down. I'm the dancing queen. It's time to dance. Alright. Complete stage objectives. Time limit. Score. Points. Alright. Press to use your skill and don a special wushu dance puppet costume. Bumper wushu mode and knock aside other participants. Oh, is this a co-op one? Oh no! Oh, it's bumper mode. Okay. The three stages for players to choose from. Okay. Can invite multiple teammates to play together or match with other players. Four participants are required to start. Okay. This prevails throughout the land. And <laughs> okay, let's try this. I will have this dance. Let's try this. Alright, match. Lucky tea bricks. Small and large forms. So these are the lucky tea bricks. Okay, so I'm gonna... <laughs> I love this photo where Shangling is just like flying away. Okay. We'll try this. 
Let's see how this goes. This better be chaotic. I mean, I feel like that's what, that's what this event is made for. I'm gonna go, uh, Hatham. Collect as many lucky tea breaks as possible. Use your bumper wish to knock other participants. Will do! Let's see what happens. I'm probably gonna suck at this at the start. I was really bad at the last co op game at the start. How long can I stay in the wushu state? <laughs> it's so cute though. Oh, I see. Okay, okay, I get it. So you kind of just want to do it when you're near other players. Oh! I'm fine. No! <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Ah ha ha! Okay, I got to knock Zhang Li away. Take that. Take that copy. Ah! No! Ah! Okay. Oh my god! Wait! The momentum on this! Please don't, please don't hit me! No! <laughs> okay, I got that. Let me have these. These are mine. Okay, you know what? I'm 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 like second second place. I can do I can do that. Oh sh Okay, this is this is getting kinda cute, honestly. I like it. Ah! I was about to hit mine! Okay, I don't think I ah! Wait, this is so fun though! I love getting knocked around! I don't know, it's so funny! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Wait! I, I, I kind of love this. Oh my god, we just knocked each other out. Oh my gosh. Time's knocked back. Oh my, so only one person gets the title? All of us have to just go with a counter for our knockbacks? Are you serious? Wait. Okay. Huh? Sure. No. One more! Another! 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 It's okay, Plat1 fan. I understand it was a typo. It's not the first time that's happened. I got my 1000. I'm fine. Another! Okay, I have to do this. Uh-huh. The more value... Valor you possess, the higher your score. You can use the following methods to gain Valor. Gaining and holding on to fortune tea bricks, staying on the platforms, and using your bumper Wushuten. So, is this like a steal? Are you gonna be stealing stuff? The first player to pick one up will hold it for a time. Oh! I know this! This is a crab game mode. Okay. Oh! If you remain in the hazardous areas that appear, okay. Yeah, I'm not. I'm. I don't. I'm not feeling this one. Like from the description alone, I'm not feeling this one that well. Yeah, like hot potato type. True. Hi, Mod Halavi. Okay. Let's just go Shen Yun. King of the Hill. Okay. I hope so. Okay, so the arena is about to change. Okay, there we go. Get this one. Ah! No, I was, I was supposed to bump them first. Dude. No way. Ah! Oh my god, how does this Yelan already have like 99 points? Hey, get shut up. Stop it. Ah! Yeah. 
Yeah, no. Yowza! Okay, okay, okay. It's fine. It's fine. I'm here. Nobody touch me! Get everyone, get away! Yo! Riveting. Riv riveting. <laughs> Yeah. No, 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 don't hit me, don't hit me! Okay, this is, okay, I, I actually think this is kinda cute. Like, this game mode's kinda cute. Not gonna lie. Hey, stop it, stop it. Okay, thank you for uh, landing me there. No, 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 I, not thank you. Hey, I hit you first! <laughs> what did I end up with? Ah! Oh my god, I'm last place! Are you serious? Inconsequential. No! No! Just Wushu Dance completed? No! Oh my god, I didn't even get a title. It just said completed. No way. Thank you for the hydrate. Okay, another, another. Get wrecked, I know, I felt, I was, I was very wrecked. Still 115 points. Yeah, I think I'm just playing against pros, guys. <laughs> A participation medal, I know. You spent hours in pain struggling not to laugh, oh no. Um, participants start with mildness. When the challenge starts, participants will be affected by super spicy spirit. Continuously lose mildness. The more mildness... Okay. Safe zones. Enter them to avoid effects of super spicy spirit. Prosperous tea bricks. Co collect them. Okay, so it's, it's like a combination of both. You collect the tea bricks and you have to stay in the safe zones. You'll receive a warning. Oh! Genshin spicy? Spicy Genshin. This is your favorite? Alright. Let's see. Come on. Yeah, I know. I feel like I am playing against sweaty, sweaty gamers. Like. <clears throat> okay, safe zones and collecting tea bricks. And bumping people. Yo! No! Hey! That was so far away, man! Oh shit! <laughs> that Nibelet was like coming for me. Hey! <laughs> I saw I saw that Navia engage. I saw that Navia engage. I was like, uh-uh. Hey! Bad. I saw that Sucrose engage. Okay, can we just like not not bump each other? We're we're good. <laughs> That one was coming for me, so... I was like, I need defense. I need to defend myself here. Okay, we're in safe zones. Nobody come for me. Ah ha ha. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, Zucros, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they got me back. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Stop it. There's a big ass safe zone for all of us. Don't hurt me. Ah! Rude. Okay. 
Okay. I successfully defended my position. 13 times knocked back. Again, no title, but whatever. At least it's not a participation award. No, I'm not yet done with this story, Mega Green Kirby. 900! Excuse you! I want 1,000 points on that one. You were sucrose? You were... <laughs> you were Yorty? I kind of saw that. I was like, wait, Yorty? We have a Yorty in chat. <laughs> okay, I want another. I want to get 1,000 points on that one. Must have... 1,000 points on that one. Alright, gimme, 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 gimme. Gimme, 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 gimme. I must, I must do better. It's fun, it is fun. I like it. Alright, let's go! Who are we bumping today? Oh, we have a Diluc! Okay, not gonna lie, the T-Bricks, they have like small hitboxes. Oh no, no, that was premature. No one's coming for me anyway. Nobody mind me. Okay, big safe zone time. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. We're doing good so far. The safe zone is about to start shrinking. Wait, it does that? Okay, I like how we're all here. But like, oh wait, this is, this is actually such a nice game. Like, no one's trying to bump anyone out of the safe zone. Oh no, I failed to evade it. Oh no, I spoke too soon. They bumped me out of the safe zone, dude. They that was kind of rude, but whatever. <laughs> okay, getting these. I like how we have such high scores, actually. Hey! Hey, no! Okay, okay, okay. We successfully evaded it in time. It's fine. It's fine. Get out! Oversight on my part. <laughs> Bumping will be boosted. Okay. Okay. Bump, bitch. Okay. <laughs> no! 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 Stop bumping me! <laughs> No, D Luke and I are like in the trenches. <laughs> they lulled me into a false sense of security. It's not even a thousand. Ah! They lulled me into a false sense of security so that they wouldn't bump me. So that I wouldn't bump them either. Oh my god. Anyway, welcome, chatters. I'm here. Playing this event, it's pretty fun. I like it a lot. I like it a lot, lot. <laughs> Lol. Okay. I think that was this one. Is that this one? Yeah. Current score 41,000 out of 6,000. All right, chat. We're gonna keep playing until we hit the 6,000. We we do this. Festive fever. Okay. Oh wait, what's this? Nice. I like my rewards. Nice. <coughs> All right. What March said? Robin was nose? Hang on. <laughs> I... I'm not sure exactly what you're referring to, Mega Green Kirby. Whenever bump someone bumped me, you kept bumping into them over and over again. Kick. 
Did someone just turn Friendship Tens there? Did they? Farina? Actually, I'm not sure. Let me see. Four star selector. Well, the only one I haven't C6 yet, I think, is Gaming. All right. Who do we want to bump around? Have <laughs> I'm using 10% of my power. Mm -hmm. This stream won't end if I don't win a game. <laughs> you want? <laughs> Actually, wait, what are we doing? Which game is this? Oh, is this a basic game? Oh, okay, okay. That's fine. I'll take that. Ah! Ah! Hey! Mine. Ah! I've been through worse. I've been. <laughs> Wait, okay, you know what? I think Kame has really funny voice lines for this. Dude. Sorry if, if the uh, if my mic is peaking. <laughs> this is just uh, a normal day in Kava's life, you know. Hey, hey, go away, Kazuha. Sorry, Navia. Okay, I need distance. I need distance. Nobody come for me. Nobody come for me. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Kazuha, don't bump me. Don't bump me. I know that Kazuha is waiting to bump me. I just know. I just know. <laughs> I don't know. I was chasing. I was totally chasing that Navia, but like, I'm not sorry. <laughs> Wait, where, what were the points though? Was it a close fight? I wasn't even looking at. I wasn't even looking at the points. I was just like, I want to bump them. <laughs> okay, cool. <sighs> how many? How many points are we at? I was second. It was last second, man. Man. Okay. One more. We can do one more game until we reach the six thousand. I want to win a game. I probably won't win this one, tbh. But it's okay. I liked having Kave as my as my uh, character, though. Oh, it's the uh, okay. I think I think I'm oh my god I'm last place on this one no Yeah that's right hey <laughs> Oh 
Oh, because they're getting the bricks. Yeah. I've been through worse. Ah! Go away. Go away, Elon. Ah! What was that? It was Ayaka. Ha, ah, I bumped you first. Oh my god. She came for me. Hey, who was that? I didn't even see that coming. I've been through worse. Ha ha ha. Ha, you can't have it either. Oh my god, that Nahida's like cracked. Okay, I once again only got participation award. Once again. <laughs> oh, but 1,200. That's not bad, actually. I reached 200 valor. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, chat. Yeah, we fulfilled our 6,000 points, but I rate that minigame a 9 out of 10. <laughs> Just because I don't, I mean, just because I keep losing the second round. <laughs> uh, still good though, still good though. I'm sorry, stream elements sneezed. Yeah, yeah. I like that. I like that. All right, chat. I think it's a good time to continue the quest. Uh, let's go. <coughs> Yay! Time to follow Gaming into Chenyu Vale. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, skyward. Oh, the docks are just a bit further. One step at a time. Hang in there. Okay, coming. I'll do whatever you say. Hello, <laughs> Wait, Sarah. Wait, get behind subject. me. I'll handle this. Strike a pose. <laughs> Another test. Watch out! Does that tingle? Test does. Skyward! Strike cloud convert! Yoohoo! Let the world collide! <laughs> ah! Wait, I meant to switch to Gaming. Actually, okay, I have this pet peeve with when they have trial characters. Seems like we really can't go anywhere without running into Treasure Hoarders, can we? When there's trial characters, it goes into the fifth slot, and I'm like. Like, I, I play with keyboard and mouse, and when a trial, ca trial character goes in the fifth slot, I'm like, I have no more fingers to press five. So I always just end up pressing four, but then it doesn't get to the trial character, so. <laughs> Cries. Yeah, it's not uncommon for deliveries to get intercepted. That's why this job needs guards like us. Thoughts on the Adepti? I like them, they're cool. Paimon was impressed by your moves back there. You seem like a real pro at your job. Oh, <laughs> that's not a skill I learned on the job. It's just a hobby. Have you ever heard of wushu dancing? I've heard about it somewhere. Really? Wushu dancing is famous in Chenyu Vale. Performers might be invited to promote the opening of a business or to spread good fortune during a holiday season. But I must admit, it has nothing on the popularity of the Li Yue Opera. I'm also well aware that people in Li Yue Harbor aren't exactly jumping at the chance to watch wushu dancing. So, it's not something I do full-time. Huh. Okay, different local entertainments. Huh? You have two One guys? region. How do you have the energy to do all that? <laughs> it's not that tiring. You just have to take a rest. Ah, Paimon gets it, so you must sleep a lot then. <laughs> not really. Just yesterday, I stayed up all night playing cards. Dude, wh when does he sleep? Oh. Uh... Let's go. The docks are just up ahead. 
When does the guy sleep? Clothing Jade, treasure of Chen Yu. Floating Jade, treasure of Chen Yu. Okay, we need to unfree. We need to free this guy. Hang on. We just need to free this guy of his uh, obligations. Just don't get tired, silly. She went in with a quad and nuns to go on cooldown. Can't wait. The NPC yeah. ransom. Got him. Got him. Hi. Please free us. Please be free. Okay, chat. We're gonna. We're just gonna be taking the boat twice. That's it. It's fine. I like this kid though. He's got the spirit. Uh huh. Ooh. Okay, but not gonna lie, I really like the color of Chen Yu Vale. Like, I really like the scenery and the, the 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 color palette of it because it feels like it really feels like it's in between Fontaine, Sumeru, and Liyue, even though it's part of Liyue. Just it's cooler toned, but it still has like the the Liyue kind of flora and fauna. But it has like a really nice waterscape also that you get from Fontaine. <laughs> well, this waypoint just uh, uncovered itself. Okay, anyway. There we go. It seems kind of out of place for you, like Chen Yu Vale, as an area. Got him. Hello. It's me again. Finally, we can rest. Oh, Paimon's shoulders are so stiff! And her stomach's so empty! No. Sorry, sorry. Did I push the pace a bit too much? I mean, you were the ones who said you were travel experts. Oh, this is so cool! It's like we when, when we were on the bus. Crazy. Oh my god, Fatui! Floating up and Fatui down alert! So much. Where's Paimon out? Oh, Paimon was finally satisfied, and now her poor stomach's empty again! Aww. Would you like some winter melon cake? I have some on me that I bought from a store. Wow. Yes, Gumming has everything. Uh, you might want to pace yourself there. Or you'll be too full to eat a proper meal later. Paima never gets too full. Just like... Oh, just like you apparently never get tired. No matter how far you walk or how many jobs you work. Ah, I see. Then here you go, Paimon. And for you, Traveler. Enjoy. He's so nice, thanks. And here's some for you too, Uncle Bosu. Aww. Don't think I forgot about you, my friend. I'll just set it to the side here for you. He's a real people person. I know. He just he's so generous. Leah Toma, actually. <sighs> that hit the spot. Paimon thought she was going to starve to death for a minute there. <laughs> that close of a call, huh? Ah, <sighs> I've been eating winter melon cake ever since I was a kid. You can buy them from all sorts of places, whether it's a small vendor on the side of the road so or pretty. a big restaurant in the city. 
but each place produces cakes with a slightly different flavor. If you like these ones, I can give you the address of the shop I bought them from. I'll just have to check when we get back. <laughs> oh, oh, all my jabbering must be making it difficult for you to enjoy the scenery in peace, huh? Don't be afraid to tell me to zip it for a little while, okay? Really, I won't be offended. <laughs> oh my god, Gabby was like, it's sorry okay. if I Paimon talk too much. Paimon is kind of enjoying listening to your chitter-chatter. Me too. Aw, a fed Paimon is a happy Paimon, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hi, Paimon could be in a good mood anytime she wants. <laughs> Yeah, I think Chenyu is quite pretty. We're here. Don't forget your things and uh, watch your step as you get off the raft or you're in for a swim. Oh, we're used to that. Thanks for the ride, Uncle Bosu. You take care of yourself now. I'll see you some other time. Okay, follow me. This way is fastest. We'll have to take the elevator up to the secure transport agency. Okay. Lead the way, Mr. Gaming. Ooh, what's all this stuff? Ooh. Stuff. Potato. More <laughs> stuff. Oh, a depty. I'm, I'm like instantly distracted. Watermelon, yeah. Tea cakes, tea cakes. Tea cakes. All right, let's go, Mr. Gumming. This is an elevator, right? Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's coming down, dude. I thought I was like standing on the elevator. <laughs> Lol. It's coming down. I wonder what would have happened if I just like stayed standing there. Alright, let's go. Do, 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 do. Stare. Yeah, literally me. All right, give me the adept tea. I love tea, but yeah, I, I don't I don't drink coffee, chat. <laughs> I only drink tea. <laughs> ah, what trinkets have we here? Present them for one. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, I didn't hey, know. I slow down. Gaming is Kalos. Oh, I'm sorry, Gaming. It? No one's gonna try any funny business when the street is this packed, right? Wait, what? That's a weird dialogue. Okay. What kind of tea? Um, black tea. Actually, any kind of tea. I'm open. Black tea, red tea, green tea, fruit tea, floral tea. I don't really like jasmine, though. Oh, well... I like chai. Uh, how should I put it? Come on, spit it out! What's up, Gummy? Do you see that group of people over there? Huh? Okay, why? Are they sus? Those are my relatives. Oh, what? <laughs> okay, I didn't, I didn't expect that, but that, like, that's, such a, that's such a real reaction. <laughs> wow, you sure have a big family. Once they start buying things, they won't stop perusing till it gets dark. Oh, this is bad. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, my bunny's here. She's in her enclosure. She's chilling. <laughs> They're your family, not your arch enemies. What's there to be afraid of? Oh my God, Paimon, you don't get it. Yes. Oh, did you do something horrible to them? You don't get it, Paimon. <laughs> no, it's not that. <laughs> I'm just not that good at dealing with my family. Oh, I see. So his thing is that he's great at dealing with people in general, like everyone outside of his family, but he's not great at dealing with his family. Like, that's so relatable, actually. It would be best if we could steer clear of him. Okay. I'll explain more when we have the chance, but 
right now we've got a job to do. Oh no, we have to do a sneaking. We have to do a sneaking challenge, man. <laughs> the left side looks pretty packed. Let's go straight. Slow and steady wins the race. Stealth mode time. I can lose it if I want. Okay, what happens if I lose it? If I just like walk the other way? Stick close, traveler. Does that work? Hi. Uh -oh, we've been spotting. Hi. <laughs> it's coming. With a cry of Gaming's name, his relatives begin to surround you from all directions. Oh my god, this Gaming, is so cute! When did you get here? Oh, you've lost even more weight. Oh no! How long are you planning on staying this time? <laughs> Not the weight comment. That's too real. How's work been? It sounds tough. You should visit home more often. Oh no! It's my mom. <laughs> the last time I spoke with your dad, he couldn't stop talking about you. He seems worried. Causing trouble again, are you? Oh no! Uh, <laughs> well. <gasps> I love that. Sorry, Gaming, I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist getting to see your relatives in front of you. Hello, Yash. Nice to see you here. Oh, thank you. I'm loving this treasure hunt. I know I sabotaged him totally on purpose. Uh, that was terrifying. Even Paimon couldn't get a word in. Family swarm disaster. <laughs> uh, sorry. They mean well. It's just uh, I don't want to talk about oh. it. <laughs> Let's get these things delivered first. Aww. It's okay. Whenever you're ready to talk about it, we'll be ready to listen. Hey, Uncle Jirigoy. These are my friends, the Traveler and Paimon. They came to deliver some goods with me. So I guess I'll go ahead and take these over to Uncle Yong's on then? Mm -hmm. Yes. Thanks for your hard work. I should thank you both for your trouble as well. Please take a seat and rest for a bit. I'll prepare some tea. <gasps> tea. No need. We'll be off soon anyway. Hey, we're already here, aren't we? No harm in taking a load off for a bit. Plus, I know the Secure Transport Agency has some great Songwa tea stash around here somewhere. I promise you, one sip and you'll be hooked. Anyway, you just sit down and relax, Uncle Jirgui. Who would I be if I just sat here and let you go through all this trouble? Leave this to me. I have to be up and about to drop these goods off anyway. What's a little extra time on my feet? Oh, you aren't too picky, right, <laughs> He's so right, active, he never sleeps. I know sleeps. Paimon prefers things on the sweeter side, so I won't steep the tea too long. And I'll add some dim sum pastries on the side. Aw, you noticed what Paimon likes? Best boy. How long have you two known Gaming? Like a few minutes. <laughs> oh, not long at all. We just kind of tagged along on his trip to Yilong Wharf. He's just a super welcoming guy. We became friends. You know, just like that. <laughs> That's just how he is. He's the attentive sort. Really knows how to look after his own. A while ago, one of our guards had to take off work. Said his joints were hurting due to the rain. Gaming personally went all the way to Boo Boo Pharmacy to get some medicine for him from That's Dr. So far, Baiju, man. Then traveled through the night to deliver it back to him. Oh my. That young man has such a good head on his shoulders. How can anyone not love him? I mean, there is his dad, but... Well, ask anyone else. Oh no, Gaming has a dad. A dad with a capital D. Oh no. Uncle Yongzan says he doesn't have the personnel to spare for this delivery right now. So what do you think, Uncle Jirigui? Should I go ahead and deliver it instead? Ah, it feels like we've troubled you enough already. It's kite-making materials, though. It could be for a kid. I'm sure the sender wants it delivered before Lantern Ray. Exactly. Dad with a couple of... With a, with a capital D. I also want to know what Tsunglo tea is. I would just like go and taste a ton of tea variants. Oh, uh, by the way, here, have some tea. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right, then. Deliver it if you want to. Ooh, are you free in two days? 
How about we grab some dim sum from Xinyue Kiosk? My treat, and don't even think about trying to pay. Wait, why did, why, where did she get all this money? <laughs> Whoa, that's way too generous of you. Uh, don't mention it. Just think of this as a thank you for all your help. Besides, the thing between me and my family, it's a long story. It might take some time to tell. Sounds good! Paima never says no to free food. He's Pyro, he can have parents. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright, then I'm off. See you in two days. Oh, and Paimon, make sure not to eat too much before then. Don't say I didn't warn you. That's cute. Is he underestimating Paimon? <laughs> She's just gonna have to show him how much she can really eat. Anyway, is Gobin's family situation really that complicated? He has such a happy-go-lucky personality. Plus, he's an enthusiastic and diligent worker. It's hard to imagine a guy like that being troubled by much. Hmm. How should I put it? How should I put it? His father is a disapproving type. Since he already plans to tell you himself, you don't need an old man like me to add my two cents. Oh, that's a good answer, actually. <laughs> you seem to be around the same age, so you might have a lot in common. Gaming, 500 plus years old. <laughs> Perhaps you could help him talk things through. Consider it a favor to me. If you have the time, maybe you can make a little flag for us to wave about. It can say, we provide aid in spades. Couldn't hurt to advertise our services, right? Well, I can certainly arrange that. Is there anything else you wanted to say? Wait, seriously? I'm almost just joking, but... If you're going to get us something, she'd much rather have winter melon cake instead. <laughs> wow, Paimon. <laughs> yeah, it seems like Gaming really has rubbed off on you. Would you like some more tea? I think there's some left. No thanks. We came all this way and still haven't gotten a chance to look around the wharf. We should see the kinds of kites they got. Maybe they'll have ones you can't find in Liyue Harbor. All right then. Please do let me know if you'd like more tea. You're welcome to stay as long as you like. If your social battery gets drained by being around Gaming, honestly, that's valid, but he did also say that you can tell him to shut up if you want to. <laughs> so, I appreciate that about him. Don't miss out on our lantern right by three boxes. Get 10%. Oh, okay. Thanks. Yo, oh, Luna. Luna, no, don't eat the box. It's noisy. Oh? Huh. The way you speak. One might have presumed you were displeased to be in one's presence. Hello, uh, Xian Yun. Take note, Paimon. You could learn a thing or two about how to respect your elders. Yeah. Ugh, starting on the elder stuff already, huh? Mm -hmm. Shouldn't you be back in your cave tinkering away at some kite related thingamabob or something? What brings you out here? Paimon, that's so unnecessary. Okay. And what's with that huge box next to you? Ah! Paimon gets it. You're here to do some shopping, aren't you? Mm hmm And what of it? The Qixing's decision to integrate Fontanian technology into said kite flying competition is of no consequence to oneself. Did you expect one to willfully compete against the whimsical trends of worldly sentiment, or perhaps even fall to petty sulking over such? It's not that we think those things exactly. That's just what Mountain Shaper and Moon Carver told us. Or Tia something and Ho. <laughs> Paimon can't be bothered to remember what their aliases were called. No, Paimon. Anyway, they went to Liyue Harbor to look for you. They even asked us to pass along their regards if we ran into you. Oh, huh. Hmm. Yun? Huh. Did she forget about them? Oh no, she forgot she was supposed to see them. Oh, it appears time has quite flown since one's arrival in Liyue Harbor. How could one have forgotten about those two old fossils? Oh no, she's guilty. <sighs> one shall have to bring them back some divine herbs to atone for this slight. Nay, given that one has ventured all this way to Yilong Wharf, tea would be more advisable. A great thought has illuminated one's mind once again. One is reminded that certain purchases have yet to be made. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you two could wait here whilst one performs this task. It'll be but a moment. 
caught. Huh? Wait, here? You really just gonna ditch us here to watch your stuff? Oh, that woman really just does whatever she wants. Hey, not you too, Traveler! Oh, all this time I'm ditching you without a good day. Ugh, just come back soon, okay? Paimon... Paimon doesn't want anyone to try and steal his stuff! Welcome. Please have a look around. We only sell teas of the finest quality, sourced directly from Chaoying Village. Might I recommend the Songlo variety? It's one of our specialties. Now, that sounds promising. One will bring some back for those old fossils, and all will be well. Two boxes will do. Wonderful. By the way, we're actually running a special lantern right promotion. Buy three boxes, get 10% oh. off. Four boxes will net you 20% off. I'll take two more boxes to avail of the provo. Hmm. 20% off four boxes. This merchant strikes a fair bargain. One might as well give some to Morax and Ping, too. I love that. Then four shall suffice. Hmm, I see. Are you intending to give these as gifts? Oh, no. <laughs> if so, perhaps I can interest you in these exquisite gift sets. Buy ten, get half off. Wait, chat. Miss Luna, why are you eating the cardboard boxes? Is it that tasty? <laughs> anyway, these discounts are very relatable. Look at the magnificent design. And the red ribbon gives quite the festive flair, don't you think? Such a gift would be sure to impress any lucky friend or family member. <laughs> oh my god, this guy is such a merchant, such a such a salesman. Hmm. Ten boxes. Seems rather Don't excessive. do it, girl! But if one factors in the conqueror of demons and one's disciples. No! Hmm. No. Ten. A nice round number, don't you think? No. Of course you do. I'll even shave a little extra off the price for you. Oh my god. That is agreeable. One will. Um. I will have these boxed up then. No. Of course, of course. Right away. Oh my god. Now all the merchants are going to look at her and be like, we're going to sell her everything. I see you have quite the eye for fine items, mademoiselle. No. Perhaps some of my wares might also be of interest to you. No. I'm a toy merchant from Fontaine. You'll get nothing but the finest and most intricate clockwork toys Mora can buy here. Each one sure to be a source of endless amusement. Okay, but how much money does Cloud Retainer have? Hmm. Hmm. Perhaps you could enlighten me then. When should said amusement be derived? Oh. Well, uh, that is, of course, best understood by playing with them yourself. If you could wait just a moment, I can bring one out and give you a demonstration. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> there is no need for that. Uh. Mademoiselle, hmm. give me your newest and finest model, and be sure to package it securely. Huh? Ah, of course. Here you go. The instruction manual is... I can do without. Thank you. Oh, was she, like, embarrassed? Or was she realized? Oh, many watchful eyes surround uh... this place. If one were to be spotted purchasing a mechanical toy such as this... Okay. A child's plaything, no less. It would only invite scandal. Not the scandal. There is no harm in bringing it back to study in secret. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. She's curious. Toy hoarder. <laughs> He's like, what a strange woman. Oh, Xianyan! Did your shopping go smoothly? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Naturally. One may not delight in social interactions, but that does not mean one lacks said faculties. <laughs> that box looks fit to burst already. I mean, what can you do? It's on sale. 
And you too? Are you not here to purchase things? We just haven't had time yet. It doesn't look like there are any kite stalls around Elong Wharf. But it does look like there are lots of goods from Fontaine. You are also planning to participate in the kite flying competition then? <clears throat> also? One means to say, you along with all the other youths. Oh my god, Cloud Retainer's gonna participate. Isn't that cheating? <laughs> one has been Girl treated to moments. share one's kite making expertise. And indeed, there was little one could do about such persistent supplication. One moment energetic and earnest, and dejected the next. One had no choice but to acquiesce to these requests. And thus, one will be organizing a kite making workshop to provide personal instruction in this art form. Ooh. Oh, who will be participating then? We'll be participating, Baima. What are you talking about? Shu Yu, Shenhe, Ganyu, and Yao Yao. <gasps> oh, all her disciples. It's so cute. Well, not Yao Yao. Yao Yao is uh, Ping's disciple. Wow, that's quite a few people. Also, this is all pretty well, Xin Yun, but it's not like you have to make your own kite to participate in the competition. You can't just buy one ready-made and call it a day. No, Paimon. Ha! Huh. You do speak it with of honor. those equipped with the mechanical lifting device, do you not? <sighs> Tis nothing but a crude piece of mortal machinery. <laughs> hey, you. The mechanism that one has developed was the fruit of millennia, of meticulous study. Let us not speak of the source of the mechanism's power, but rather its structure. It is composed of materials as light as bamboo and as strong as iron. This composition grants it Damn. the lightness of weight to ascend into the sky and the durability to follow the wind for many a mile. Where was that it when is I was built in high with school? a series of intersecting rods that... <sighs> Never mind. It is unlikely the two of you will understand, even should one expend the effort to explain. One is better off saving one's breath. <gasps> Truly. It sure seems like you want to talk about it, though. So, will you be attending the workshop or not? Yeah. Huh? Wait, you've been trying to invite us this entire time? All right, then. No need to prepare the materials in any case. One has it all sorted. Arrive at Mount Outsong in two days. I shall be expecting you around midday. Are you leaving? Don't you want a guard to help you with that big box of yours? <laughs> Surely you jest. One goes as one pleases. For what reason would one need to rely on another? <gasps> it float. Nobody notice. Nobody look. <laughs> Okay, but like, I want one. One calls it the floating toting device. The floating toting device. Huh. She seems pretty proud of that one. Look at her walk down the street. She seems so confident. But everyone around her is looking at her all funny. Paimon wonders... Uh, never mind. But anyway, that box of hers seems to be full of those mechanical lifty thingamabobs. Uh, not that Paimon was peeking or anything. She just... Uh, got a bit unsteady for a second and accidentally brushed the embroidery on top. And wouldn't you know it, all the stuff inside almost came bursting out. Paimon even went out of her way to keep it all together. Wow, what will I do about you, Paimon? All Paimon say about is that you or Cindy without sure you. does try hard to save face. Mm. What did she call it again? A crude piece of mortal machinery? I'm not bet she just can't wait to take it apart and see how it's made. Yeah. But then she'll uh, rebuild it into something better. Totally. We should probably act like we didn't see anything, though. You know, in consideration of her feelings and all. Absolutely no similarity between Paimon and the floating toting device. <laughs> After all, that is the propriety with which one should comport oneself. When it comes to an elder, right? Mm-hmm. Alright, part one completed. Alright, next mini game. What do we have next? Let's see, let's uh okay, I wanted to do this one. Paper shadow ruminations. Alright. Let's go here. Do all Adepti have vision? I don't think we've seen um, Mooncarver and 
mountain sheep or have visions. Unless we unless they do and I just didn't see them, but Oh, she remembers us. That's nice. Alice Mitch, thank you for the nine months tier one. Happy late Chinese New Year. Chen Yu Vale has your heart because of Shawmai. That's adorable. <gasps> Paper theater featuring Guova and Yugui. I love it. Oh, they're so cute. Yugui looks so cute. Yugui looks like a Chikorita. All right. Press the relevant buttons or use the movement keys to consume movement points and guide Gova and Yugui. Hold the button to move continuously. Okay, ingredients position. Each move of the starting point cart or boxes within the stage will be recorded. Use the recall function. Can be used three times consecutively. Okay. What? Alright, puzzling time. Ali, okay, uh, thank you for redeeming character review, but I I can um I'd rather wait till I finish the activities of the stream. If you're not around anymore, I can just refund the point so that you can redeem it on a more casual Twitch stream where I'm not finishing a quest. Alright, press the buttons or use the movement keys. Sure, yeah, same instructions. So we basically just have to push. Alright, next stage. Leave the starting point cart. The areas they pass through will be marked. Marked areas will be deemed inaccessible. So we can't go back. Oh, wait, they will be. It just, re it just uh, restores moves consumed. Okay. Touch the key to release the corresponding lock. If you cannot reach the key, try pushing boxes or some other method. Okay. So. Let's try this. And then we have to go back to get our points back. I get it. Yeah, we can do it when I'm not too busy. Oh, sure. Yeah. Sorry, I think my internet sneezed a bit. We're back. Hello, I'm sorry. The internet sneezed a little bit. <laughs> okay. But yeah, Ali, um, sorry for not disabling it prior. I should do that. I should have done that. All right, we back. Um, paper shadows of foraging. What do we do here? So we need the key. And we have six. Okay, this might take a few tries. All right, so not enough moves. Okay. Uh... Oh! Mm. 
No, it was it was mine. Ta-da! All right, next stage. Press the portraits or use the number keys to switch the characters you are controlling. Oh, now we have to switch the characters. Okay, now we're doing both. Ah, oh, they're both here. Oh, okay, very cute. Um, so, if I make... Oh, okay, so I need Goba to push these out first. And then... Wait. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. So Goba and Yugui have to get them together. And then Yugui is gonna be like... This way, this way, this way, this way. Okay! Cute. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that seems like a lot of stuff to move around. So there are two keys now! No, there are three keys now! Alright! <laughs> All this for a leg of fowl. Um, hmm. Let's see. We're only working with like seven things here. What's with the box? Why the box? Okay, let's start with Yugui. How far can Yugui travel? Not enough. Not enough. Okay, starting with Yugui is not the play. Okay. Luna. Okay, and I think Yugui has to actually no. Wait, no, I think that was correct. can sit there for now. Okay, hang on, chat. Miss Luna is gonna have to go outside. Okay, sorry. Miss Luna was uh, getting uh, antsy. Okay, I think this does not go there. This goes here. There we go. Easy. Hello, Carter. Oh my god. Another. <laughs> So, two keys, but... Okay. I know this. Ooh.
Oh no, I can't move more. Wait, no, Globa, go back. I'm not done with you. Okay. Ah! Globa, stop moving! <laughs> Alright. Got that. Now Globa has to move this here. Oh, Globa doesn't have any more moves left. Okay. If I move. Okay, wait, no, Goba can move it can move it away. Okay. Okay. Easy. All right. Another. When Goba and Yugoi are at the starting point cart, the cart can be pushed by another character. You can reach some special locations this way. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So we get to push them around. Oh. Oh, who's gonna push who? <laughs> ah. Okay, but the icons are so cute though. Wait, go back, go back. Okay, it's just, it's okay, it's just symmetry. Nothing too complicated yet. Alright. Am I going to Mensa? No! <laughs> Okay, um... Goba has four moves only? No way, man. And Yugui has five? Okay, so Goba, Goba can push Yugui. But probably not the other way around. All right. And then Goba. Can Goba go around? Not sure what that did. Not sure if that's supposed to do anything. Okay, so actually. Okay, I think I might have to restart this stage. I like this though. This one's um uh... I wonder am I overthinking this? Can't go anywhere. Yeah. Can't go anywhere. Okay. 
I'm gonna restart this stage. Reset. No, no, no clues. No clues. Oh! Wait. Can Gulba push that right out of his- Oh! Gulba can! did earlier where you went and got the key <laughs> okay no you has to get Goma first you not enough moves okay it's okay that's enough okay Goma go get him all right <laughs> There we go. Got him. Okay, another. Fish this time. Alright, alright. Three keys. So, I think... Yugui has to prioritize... That. And then Yugui is going to push Guoba. Guoba is going to push this box out. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, perfect. Yugui is going to push this box to the key. Oh no, but Guoba has to push Yugui again. All right. <laughs> wrong move, wrong move, wrong move. All right, there we go. <laughs> oh. I think Gova will have to push Yugui again. Oh no. Yugui has to push Guova. Lol. Go back over. There you go. So. Oh, wait, no, Yugo has to go the other way around. There you go. Nice! I haven't finished all the Lantern Right quests. We're in the middle of it. We're just uh, taking a break from it by doing these uh, mini games. Oh, is that it? We finished it? Hoggies. Cute! Cute! I haven't completed the quest yet, but I'm glad you enjoyed the newest podcast. I had a lot of fun recording it. Oh really? There were nine stages? Damn. We got distracted by how cute the puzzle is. That's so true. Why your Shanyun was a Hydro Catalyst and not an animal one? <laughs> John Genshin did not bless you enough. The hero's valor ripples through his robes. Oh, yeah. His garments steeped in the spirit of the bamboo groves. Oh. Oh, we've already reached it? No way. I claim one at the end so that it feels like a prize at the end of it. All right, that's going to be the... We're going to go to that after we do the next leg of the quest. And then let's, let's, let's do the next festive affairs. Navigate. 
Oopsie. Wait two days until the appointed time. Okay, chat. Give me a second while this runs. I need to go take a bathroom break. You guys take a bathroom break too. Happy Sunday to those who just popped in. I hate standing in one place for two days at a time. So true. All right. <laughs> oh, okay. Eight to 12. There we go. I have never had dim sum at Shinue Kiosk before, but it should be quite the feast for sure. Ooh, and that's why my stomach right on cue telling her it's time to go find Gami. Let's go! I really want to try eating at a place with a dim sum buffet. Like where, you know those, because there are places here in the Philippines, in, in Metro Manila, where it's like, all you can eat dim sum, and then it's only available for like a few hours, and it's just like, how much dim sum can you eat in two hours? <laughs> Hi, Jinjin. Jin. Wait, they have recipes here that I haven't gotten? No way. Okay. Let's go. Coming. We missed you. Dim sum buffet oh, is great. You're here early. Oh, yeah. I just ordered. The food should be out in a second. Uh, sit down. Sit down. Let's all take a seat. Here, hand me your cups. Dim sum is like... It's it's like a, chi a type of Chinese appetizer, but it's like a, a category of Chinese appetizer. So, like, there's your dumplings. Dumplings are dim sum. You have your, like, shawmai or shumai it's called in, in other places um, and then there's also some dim sum that aren't dumplings like radish cake there's also chicken feet and frog legs which I'm pretty sure count as, d as dim sum yeah so it's like a category of appetizer oh thank you no <laughs> why is coming Wait, no, uh you weren't supposed to drink that, Paimon. Dude, that was such a funny face that coming made. So displeased. That was for you to rinse your utensils. Oh. Ugh. Oh, no. Uh, that's a thing. <gasps> Seafood kanji. Oh, shit. Oh. Wow, so much delicious food. Do you really eat all this just for breakfast? This is their breakfast? Oh my god. Oh, they even have uh, machang. <laughs> That's just how we do it where I'm from. Most of the time, though, I don't eat lunch after dim sum. Uh, yeah, you wouldn't need to. Oh, that's good to hear. Paimon doesn't need to worry about holding back then. 
Eat, eat. If it's not enough, we can always order more. Oh, and there's tong soy coming as well. Ooh. I don't usually have that in the morning, but well, since everyone's here, I just had to order it. Ooh. What about you, traveler? Is the food to your liking? Uh, want some more seafood kanji? Let me refill your bowl. Okay. Hanan's gonna take you up on that. Fill it up nice and full and make sure she gets a few extra shrimp. Thanks. Oh. <gasps> yeah, fancy the shawmai for lunch. Let's go. I I don't think I've tried Din Tai Fung before. It might have been like a family event and then I just didn't know what we were eating when I was young. When I was younger. I don't know. <sighs> so full. <laughs> that meal was so satisfying. It even gave Paimon some extra brain juice. Well, good, Paimon. Then you can use more of your brain now. Oh, listen, listen. Paimon's figured it out. Let's think about this for a second, Gumming. You invited us to this awesome restaurant and ordered a whole table full of expensive dim sum just for the three of us. Well, you must be hiding the fact that you're some young master from a rich family. <laughs> That's a valid question. I was wondering that too. That would explain why you try to keep your friends and family away from each other. No, I don't think that's why, Paimon. <laughs> you, you're like... Are you confusing me with Xingqiu? Okay. Huh? You know Xingqiu? You sure know a lot of people. Hmm. Well, when you're on the road as much as I am, you hear all sorts of rumors. Sometimes they're true, sometimes they're not. What it comes down to is being able to tell the difference. More often than not, that means knocking on some doors to find out for yourself. Oh, you truly are a man of many talents, young Master Gaming. Young Master Gaming. What do I usually eat for breakfast? I've been, like, switching it up. I've been uh, putting together some yogurt bowls. I tried chia seeds, but then my stomach kind of reacted weirdly, and I'm not sure if it's to the chia seeds or to the yogurt. But I like eating yogurt. And then I also do, like, either boiled or fried egg with some soy sauce and spring onions and rice. I alternate it. Sometimes if it's sweet, if I want a sweet breakfast, I I lean to yogurt. If I want a savory breakfast, it's eggs. And then tea. Okay, okay. Enough with the teasing. <laughs> Sorry to burst your bubble, Paimon, but you're wrong about my family situation. Okay, Gaming, tell us tell us your trauma, your family history. She was onto something there. My dad is just an ordinary tea merchant. Mm -hmm. Small scale stuff, you know? It wouldn't even make sense to mention his business in the same breath as the Fei Yun Commerce Guild. My dad. He always wanted me to inherit the family business, to be a merchant like him. But that's just not who I am. That's not who I ever wanted to be. and aspirations and stuff. Of course I have. I, I told him I wanted to be a wusho dancer. That I wanted all of Tavat to see what I could do. According to my dad, though, that wasn't a real job. Just a child's pipe dream. <laughs> Not a real job. Oh, no. Oh, that's terrible. I'm sure he thought I would come around eventually, but wusho dancing has always been the only thing I wanted to do. One day, he tried to get me to visit some other tea merchants to start building the right relationships, but I refused to go. We got into a huge fight. We, we were this close to throwing hands. I like that they actually use the phrase throwing hands. This is part two. In the end, I was so angry that I, I ran away from home. <gasps> oh. I haven't been back since. Oh, I see. Uh, don't get on my case just yet, okay? It's not like I think I'm completely without fault. No. I know that it wasn't the right way to go about things. But my dad's stubborn. No matter how hard I tried to convince him, it just went in one ear and out the other. There was no changing his mind. I knew talking would only get me so far, but... If I made it big in Liyue Harbor, the results could speak for themselves. Coming. But... I'm sure you both already know how that's going. Wusho dancing's just not that big in Liyue Harbor. In the past, I would go door to door from store to store, asking if they would be interested in hiring a performer. Most times, I wound up eating nothing but humble pie. Oh. And you can't just rely on dreams to put food on the table, right? Yeah. So, I found a job as a guard to make some money. And now I have enough to get by and then some. 
Still, change takes time. Gotta take it slow, you know? Paimon understands. Okay, enough of all that serious talk. Her tea's getting cold. Ooh, let's do something fun this afternoon. What do you say, huh? I'll organize. He has so much energy, but also so relatable. Actually, we kinda already have plans this afternoon. We told Xian Yun that we would go to her kite making workshop. Oh? Are you interested in kite making, Gaming? Oh, no. It's just that I happen to know Auntie Xian Yun. Auntie Xian Yun? That title certainly humanizes her a bit. Oh, I know that she's an adeptus. I met her during a delivery oh. once. But hasn't she been in the city lately? She's even tried, with some limited success, to change her terms of self-address or something like that. She came to see me a few she, days ago to ask everyone. about luminescent dice. Oh, wait a second. She doesn't plan on putting those on a kite, does she? Is that not something you can do? It's one thing to use it on cloth, but applying it to paper is another matter entirely. Why couldn't she tell me what she wanted them for? Yeah, she does seem to have trouble with that sometimes. It would be such a shame if everyone worked so hard on their kites only for them to get ruined in the end. <laughs> okay, I'll go with you. If Auntie Xian Yun wants to use those dyes in a kite, the formula will need to be changed. Great, the more the merrier. Oh, that was the intro to part two? Okay. Are we gonna go to the workshop now? Go to Mount Aotsang. Oh, my crystal fly trap is done. Hi, Zaizulu. Yeah, we're starting part two here. Huh. Well, I hope like when I got when my OBS disconnected, it didn't uh, it didn't cut the YouTube stream. Because I think it cut the Twitch stream. Oh my gosh, our faves! Wait, where's Shuyu though? I miss Shuyu already. She was such a nice kid. Oh. Oh my god, they're so cute. Got you. Come on, wake up. Some friends have arrived. Oh, they're so cute. Hello. Friends. I miss Yao Yao. <sighs> oh, Ganyu. you. Uh, Gan you. Oh, I have some mint oil. Perhaps we should try that. A guest at Wanmin Restaurant recommended it to me. I've tried it. Its stimulative effects are much stronger than what can be achieved from chewing on mint leaves alone. <sighs> snore, snore, snore. Hmm. Apologies in advance. Oh no, is she just gonna make her take a whiff of it? Oh! <gasps> Wait! No! Shen, huh? Not there! Oh no! Applied it to Ganyu's horns? Oh no! <laughs> Illegal! See, it worked. Oh my god. She's awake. Shana. Merciless. Are you okay, Ganyu? Do you need some water? Or or maybe something to eat? I I'm fine. I just feel chilly all over. Vix time. <laughs> huh. Was it that effective? Chilly, huh? Mm. Master always says a cool head leads to a calm heart. So does this mean that heat's what we need to help you, Ganyu? Uh, Pilot doesn't think that's what the expression means exactly. Huh. <sighs> I... I feel a bit better now. Was I asleep? Must have been around the time I usually take my midday nap. Did you not sleep last night? That does seem to happen to you often. Hmm. Perhaps you should come work at Wanmin Restaurant with me. <laughs> We get off at 10 on the dot every night without fail. Oh my god, Shenha lucky with the with the stable hours and no overtime. And Ganyu here like working overtime every day. I I could never. I'm sorry. I seem to have missed your name. You are <laughs> Me? My name is Gaming. I work as a guard for the Secure Transport Agency. Gaming. The name sounds familiar. I believe I've heard your name mentioned around the Ministry of Civil Affairs. People tell me you're an extremely enthusiastic worker. 
and you are very generous with your help. Uh, well, you know me. <laughs> or, uh, I guess you don't. <laughs> my name is Ganyu. This is Shenha. And this is Yao Yao. Oh my god, the, the Adeptus disciples. I love them. They're so nice. It's an honor to finally meet you all. In oh, one place. You must be here for Auntie Xianyun's kite making workshop, right? Yes. I have neither made nor flown a kite before. As long as Master is willing to teach, I am willing to learn. Me too! I want to participate in the kite flying competition with my best friend! Plus, it's more meaningful if you make the kite yourself, right? Your best friend didn't come with you? Well, Chi Chi's been super busy helping Dr. Baiju lately. I'll meet up with her later and give her a huge surprise! <laughs> Chi Chi and Yaya are going kite flying! Oh, I also brought bandages and ointment with me today. It's easy to cut yourself when working with bamboo, so I thought I should come prepared. Wow, you're really thoughtful. As for myself, I'm afraid I lack <sighs> some of my companion's enthusiasm. I was originally planning to buy a ready-made kite and just enjoy the festive city atmosphere with everyone. But Cloud Retainer is always going out of her way to look after her juniors, wanting us to have the best there is. She always puts us before herself. So cute. It was so thoughtful of her to arrange this workshop, so I simply couldn't let such consideration go to waste. My motivation for being here might be a little different, yes. But I'm ready to put in just as much effort as everyone else. Well, yeah. we're all here, but where the heck is Xin Yun? Shouldn't she be here by now? Who is it that speaks <laughs> of oneself Whoa. in such an ill-tempered tone? Yeah, she has Shuyu with her. Oh, come on! You clearly She's heard so my cute. Mind. Her dress is so cute. Master stopped to buy grilled tiger fish to share with everyone. Come get it while it's still warm. <gasps> oh my god, and her pigtails. Uh oh, Paimon, sorry, Miss Illuminated Bird. Paimon always knew you were the smartest, coolest, and prettiest adeptus. Someone as wonderful as you is sure to have brought enough for Paimon as well. Right? <laughs> yeah, they're twinning. Their color palettes are like... Similar. So cute. <sighs> so delicious. Paimon's life is complete. Hmm. It appears that we've ended up with quite a few participants indeed. Go ahead and divide yourselves into small groups. The materials are over here. The regular dyes and luminescent ones have been clearly marked. Use them as you see fit. As for how to make the kite, one assumes you all made sure to listen to the instructions one provided while we were eating. Oh, yes. She taught them while they were questions? eating. Paimon may have focused a little too hard on the eating and less on the listening. Paimon knew she could count on you, traveler. One will wait under this tree and avail oneself of the cool air while one digests. <laughs> Do not hesitate to seek one's company if you have any trouble, questions, or simply want to chat. We're not in any hurry to get started. Why don't we go see what the others are up to? Okay. Ah, okay. First, first small group here. Hey, coming. What is he up? Huh? I have to participate? <laughs> I thought I'd be done for the day after adjusting the dye formula. You're that unenthused by kite making, huh? That doesn't seem like you. True. No, it's not that. It's just... Uh, it would take too long to explain. <laughs> I guess I'll just make one then. Tell us, Gummy. Hmm. What shape should we go with? How about a butterfly? What do you think, Shuyu? Is there a particular design you want? I want a swanee! Uh, that might be a little hard to pull off. Aww. True, but I still want to try. They're super cute. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's decided then. Hang on, chat. Luna wants her food. Here working on um, Shenha. It would be great if you could refrain from putting things on my horns from now on. <laughs> They're really quite sensitive. Oh, I see. 
My apologies. I shall remember that in the future. Yes, kids, don't try that at home. Never had such a gun use horns. Thank you. No harm done. Good. Yeah, we're doing good here, Lena Kun. P more disco, yes. Yeah, I pulled a Chi Chi theme. Could I touch them just once more, though? <laughs> no oil or anything this time. Oh my god, Shana, I've just no. always wondered what Miss Ganyu's horns feel like. Oh no, not again. Huh? Please, I told you, just call me Ganyu. <sighs> well, all right. Just be gentle. No. <laughs> Wait, they're so shiny, though. Hmm. Firm to the touch with no discernible temperature. Oh, not unlike certain medicinal plants I've eaten before. <laughs> I hope she doesn't try to eat the horns. Oh, still, Ganyu appears to be shaking like a cat whose whiskers have just been touched. <laughs> I should stop. <laughs> Shenha is giving in to her, uh, um, what do you call them? Intrusive thoughts. Intrusive thoughts, yeah. Uh. Oh, I see. Then I'll apply the oil to your forehead next time. Oh, no need. I'll just... Refrain from taking afternoon naps outdoors. <coughs> anyway, we should probably get started on our kite. It won't be long before Cloud Retainer comes to check on our progress. Perhaps... Perhaps we should just choose the most traditional style. Okay. Well, they seem to be getting along swimmingly. Let's not disturb them. Got a proof for your new apartment. Ooh, congratulations. That's big. Aw. Hello, Adam. <laughs> Auntie Cloud Retainer, look! Am I doing it right? Hmm, very good. Your frame is nice and sturdy. This design, is it a finch? I see you going. <laughs> yep. Oh, she whistles. <laughs> One is looking forward to seeing your finished product. What color are you going to make it, Yao Yao? Um, I haven't decided yet. If I make it blue, it'll be more like my friend. But if I make it gold, it'll be more like me. If you are asking for one's own opinion, one would advise choosing gold. When giving a gift, the key consideration is the recipient's feelings, is it not? One imagines your friend would much prefer a kite that reminds them of you. Oh, hey, I never told you the kite was for Chi-Chi. How did you know? She just does. With age comes wisdom, child. One simply has a way of knowing things. Oh, cool. <laughs> Thanks, Auntie Cloud Retainer. Auntie Cloud Retainer. I'm going to start painting it gold right now. Good. One will watch. You two seem strangely unoccupied. One was <laughs> under the impression that one was supposed oh, to be no. doing the relaxing. Is your kite finished? Oh, we actually haven't oh my God. yet, but we're going to start uh, right now. <laughs> Procrastination. We should get started on our kite now. Let's go. All right, time to make a kite. Ooh, congrats on getting into the beta. Start making. First, we have to decide on the shape. Hey, what are you laughing at? Hmm. Paimon oh, shaped kite? It's not a completely crazy idea. We're gonna make a Paimon kite? If nothing else, a Paimon shaped kite could at least make sure you never get lost on your travels and always find the tastiest food and funnest things to do wherever you go. Maybe we're not exercising enough artistic license. We should exaggerate this a bit. How about this? The word Paimon means the guardian angel of travelers. Hmm. We're gonna buy pi tie Paimon to a string like a balloon. Oh wait, that's cute actually. That's now, cute. What expression should we give her? Since the kite is going to be flying super high in the sky. Oh my gosh, we should do the one with like the the expression with the googly eyes and like the the the, the blep tongue. Um, she should look guilty about something. Oh, Paimon totally didn't do anything wrong. And even if she did, she doesn't deserve to get shot up into the sky for it. Hmm. Something like this, then. Yep, that's the one. Now that we've decided, let's make it happen. I love that. All right, let's see the expression. I want to see Guilty oh, Paimon. It's done! Paimon has to say, Kai Paimon might even rival real Paimon in terms of cuteness. Now we just have to attach the string, right? 
All right, gather around, everyone. Oh, Shinyan's calling us. I wonder when Shuyu will get a vision. Hmm. Let one take a look. Please judge our Paimon kite. Wow! Ganyu and Shenha made a scissor-tailed swallow! It's so That's pretty! So Aww. Yep. The coloring makes it look a lot like Master. Aww. If the tail wasn't split in two like that, it might even be a spitting image! <laughs> uh, if you look closely, there are a few spots where the colors go outside the lines. Did you doze off while painting it, Ganyu? Oh. I did the painting. Oh my gosh, Paimon, don't judge. I stared at the paper for quite some time, but I simply could not recall the coloring of any bird. <laughs> Except Master. I love the eyes on this thing. Or should I say that I'm too familiar with her crane form? Even when she stands before us in human form, all I can see is blue and white. Hmm. I love how much Shanyun's disciples love her. Oh! Well, now that you mention it, Paimon can see it too! Hi, Mayropan. Exactly. So I simply closed my eyes and painted from memory. No way! You, you can paint with your eyes closed? <gasps> wow! The disciples of Adepti really are something. You are most filial, Shenhe. One is flattered by the likeness. The Aww. swanee that Gaoming and Shuyu made looks very majestic. I'm sure it'll look even more impressive as it soars through the sky. The eyes and ears glow in the dark, so you're sure to see it at night. Ooh. Your golden finch is cute too, Yao Yao. <laughs> it's all thanks to Auntie Cloud Retainer's guidance. What about your kite, Traveler? Well... <laughs> It's, uh, perhaps too modern for your tastes. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, I actually love the facial expression. That's so good, though. Plus the sweat drops. I love this. This is perfect. Very Paimon-like indeed. That is so cute. Uh, why do you say that, Shen, huh? That one time the traveler suspected that a piece of meat was missing from their bowl, Oh. That was the exact expression on your face. You haven't seen this? What did you guys pick? What did you guys pick for your Paimon expressions? Did you just get the happy one? Or like the scared one? Eh. Is that something that happened? So it was you. Aha. Uh -huh. That's that's her face right now. Is that You picked the scared the one? The Jade Chamber? Oh, whose kite is that? The happy one. <laughs> oh. Hey, whose kite is that? You also picked the guilty one. Let's go. The scared oh. one makes Gavin giggle. Who dares oh, that's attempt cute. such a flagrant display of impropriety by releasing a kite into one's territory without one's permission? Oh, and to do so by making use of this crude piece of mortal machinery. Damn. Oh, one simply must know who it is that possesses such impertinence. Oh my god, she morbed. <laughs> Continue attaching the strings, everyone. One will be but a moment. Oh my goodness. Cloud Retainer? Oh dear. Traveler, Paimon, could I trouble you to go after Cloud Retainer? She's out. Master's going to be to okay, throw hands. right? Oh, they dropped another Jade Chamber. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, that didn't register to me that the Jade Chamber fell again, wait. <laughs> I'm more worried about the person who released the kite. Yeah, true, and then it turns out to be Morax. <laughs> There's wind up ahead. Looks like we can glide over. <gasps> we got the Paimon kite. I am so down for another awkward encounter. It's right there. All right, who dares? Hmm. This Fontanian device of <laughs> mechanical motion is quite curious indeed. Of course, it's the other adept. <laughs> Now is hardly an opportune time for your musings. 
no. Someone among us was not sufficiently attentive. And now the kite has vanished. Among us. Calm yourself. Do you have any recollection of its last location? No way. One believes it drifted in the direction of Mount Outsong. Dude, Shenyun is gonna rip them a new one. A single brain cell between these two, yeah. Perhaps it is mere happenstance, but one feels a certain sense of dread at the thought. Mm. Your concern is misplaced, surely. No. Cloud Retainer is either in the city nope. looking after her disciples, nope. or secluded in her abode attending to her research. Oh dear. She will not notice that kite. Unless... On the subject of said kite, however, one simply must remark on the genius of its windless lift technology. Oh dear. One cannot help but surmise that its ingenuity rivals that of Cloud Retainer's creations. Uh. Still thy tongue. If Cloud Retainer were to hear you profess such a thing, we can both say farewell to any further use of the Supreme Cuisine Machine. Oh yeah, they're not getting any food from that anymore. One presumes oh, no, no, no. that this kite belongs to you. Oh shit. Oh shit. Huh? Oh shit. <laughs> Regard the situation with which we are now confronted. This is all your fault. <laughs> One's fault. One seems to recall that releasing the kite was no solitary endeavor. Scatter. Rip Moon Carver and Mountain Shaper, they will be remembered. Say something, Mountain Shaper. <laughs> Surely you can think of something to appease her. <gasps> Further explanation shall only fan the flames of her wrath. Dude. It would be better to stay silent and retire at the earliest opportunity. They're just communicating with their eyes, though. We can hardly avoid her forever. They're just, that what is this telepathy? That may suffice during Lantern Rite. But what about the Moon Chase Festival? Sooner or later, she will discover our true identity. Uh, I feel like Cloud Retainer knows who they are. <sighs> Hello? Hello? <laughs> Go retrieve the kite. Oh, no, no. Absolutely not. Oh, no. You retrieve it. Oh my that god. That is not our kite. Oh no way. That cannot be what they went with. Oh. So an adeptus such as oneself is mistaken then? Oh my god. Ah. You're an adeptus? Please <laughs> forgive us for any impropriety. No way, they're playing dumb. No. I truly possess no inkling of who could have released a kite into your esteemed domain. Pray, who could be responsible for such wanton behavior? Verily, verily, v we were verily. but delighting in the surrounding scenery. This locale is home to such exquisite... Uh, ah, mint! Not the mint. Well, and if that's all, then we'll just be on our way. We finally caught up. Oh no. You sure do fly fast in your illuminated bird form, Chinyun. Oh no, Paimon's gonna ruin this for them. Moon Carver? Oh Moon no. Cheaper? What are you doing here? <laughs> Caught. Caught in 4K. You. Okay, now Paimon's getting a weird vibe. Did she say something wrong? It is of no consequence. Long has one seen through their disguises. One was simply curious as to how long they would keep up the act. Bro. Then you are not angry? Well... Hm. How could one feel anger at the sight of two old friends enjoying themselves? One is also well aware of how enticing these city novelties can be. Wow, Shen Yun is, so, is being so nice. Like, she's not, not savage at all. We were simply consumed by a fit of festive spirit. Seldom do we get the opportunity to partake in the delights of the times. However, we are far from being as adept as you in matters that require a deftness of hand. No worthy kite could be born of our own making. Thus, we could only take the convenient route, so to speak. Your prowess in mechanics is unparalleled, Cloud Retainer. You, promise you wield feel the wind guilty. and waves That's themselves. True. Your singular talent stands unmatched across the land. Of this, we are well aware. <sighs> One has guests to attend to. We will have to convene again some other time. Traveler, Paimon, do try to keep up. Oh boy. Oh, goodbye. We're leaving already? Oh, all this flying from place to place is wearing Paimon out. All right, we go back. Oh no, there are no more wind currents going there. Fine. Wait, I wanna talk to them. 
It seems that one's concern was misplaced after all. Then should we continue flying the kite? <laughs> A splendid suggestion, but it would be advisable to change locations. Perhaps your mountain would suffice? It is more than spacious enough. <laughs> no, how about your moon? <laughs> A fine idea. A fine idea indeed. <laughs> A single brain cell and nothing more can be found between these two. Why they didn't use their mouth in earlier? I don't know either. But they just, that's just them not having a brain cell. Or they just chose a random mouth and we're, and they're, and we're like, surely Cloud Retainer is not here. I should do the writing? No way. <laughs> They're back. <gasps> Paimon's pooped. Uh, hi. Why are there only two of you left? After you left, Yao Yao and Shu Yu tired themselves out playing with their kites. Mm -hmm. Gao Ming offered to escort them home. Before he left, he said something that I don't quite understand. Oh? What did he say? He said... A kite is always tied down no matter how far it flies or how high it soars. Its tether prevents it from ever truly flying free. Dude, that's such a sad thing to say. He looked quite dejected as he said this. Is that why he doesn't like making kites? Now that you mention it, Gaming did seem to have a rather strange attitude towards kites. A reflection of himself. Oh, if I were a kite, I would cherish that tether as a symbol of kinship and the bonds that tie us and... Shenha? It may be an exceedingly slim right. and distant connection, but lose it, and you lose that which links you to home. Oh my god, Shenha has her own hugo to the kite. That's why she doesn't understand it, because she has, like, the exact opposite. Who good? If Gaming truly sees a kite as a reflection of himself, then I fear I understand his words even less. Well, people often have different points of view depending on their mindset and experiences, right? It's actually quite normal. Just like some people can eat spicy food, but others won't go anywhere near it? You got it, Shinha. Exactly. That's why tolerance and understanding are as important as they are. Uh, tolerance and understanding? What brought about this conversation? Did one miss something? We were just chatting. You don't have to butt in on every little thing, you know. Damn, Paimon. Where were you anyway? One was merely doing a bit of cooking. Night fast approaches. If you are otherwise unoccupied, one would entreat you to stay and eat before you depart. That's such a mom thing to do. When it's like almost dinner time and you look like you're ready to leave, but then your mom is like, oh, stay for dinner. <laughs> oh, it's been so long since I've it. had the chance to enjoy your cooking, Cloud Retainer. Uh, worry not. One has prepared a variety of meat and vegetable dishes. One is more than familiar with everyone's culinary proclivities. Hey! Paimon's hungry too! It's not like the dim sum and grilled fish could keep her full the whole day, you know? Shenha, Ganyu, come with me. Whoa, what's with all the secrecy? Hmm. You're not trying to play favorites, are you? If you're ready to serve the food, we can help too. Food, 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 food. food. <laughs> Skyward! No! This is... <gasps> ah! Oh my god! Did Cloud Retainer make those? Feel the wind brushing against my legs. This is a bit embarrassing. Oh man, I love their outfits. Is the headpiece secure? 
I should have asked Cloud Retainer to check before I stepped outside. Oh my god. So cute. So pretty. Whoa. Damn, uh, girl. How do we look? Oh, jeez. Shenha. Oh my gosh. You look slay. <laughs> I oh my gosh. Shenha looking respectfully. Ah. Uh, huh? She asked them just like that. Oh god, you're so cute. Oh, <laughs> I mean blush, yes. You oh my gosh. Cute, you? Mm. Oh, how should Paimon put it? Uh, you both look so elegant and refined. Oh my gosh. Those outfits really suit you both. Dude, Shenha is so slay. Like she's so. I love how she's so unshy about it. Like, yeah, but Ganyu's so cute also. Given that one employed the services of the best tailor in all of Liyue, one would expect nothing less. Aww. Man, that's adorable. What colors have you been partial to lately, Shenhe and Ganyu? Lately? Why is Cloud Retainer suddenly asking about what colors we like? I like black. <laughs> One is gratified to see one's disciple has inherited one's own taste. True. The color black doesn't get dirty easily. A virtue I've come to value recently. And you, Ganyu? I favor blue and black. And the material is sufficiently comfortable, yes? I do like their hairstyles also. Their, their hair pieces. Oh my gosh. Yes, very. I simply cannot thank you enough, Cloud Retainer, for this gift. And the kite, too. Oh, they're so pretty. Thank you, Master. One is content as long as you are pleased with the gift. One hopes these garments will see much use. Seems like your supreme cuisine machine is just Aww. getting better and better, Xianyan! The crows, thank you for gifting a sub to Mirupan. Thank you. This golden crab's particularly good. Ooh. The shell's deliciously crunchy, and the meat inside is so succulent and sweet. <laughs> Paimon can't stop eating. Wait, do they eat the shell? I don't think I've ever eaten a shell when eating crab. I don't think I've ever eaten the shell. That's a good thing Ga Ming isn't here, or Paimon would have to duel him for the food. You know, with chopsticks. Mm. He traveled all this way on account of the kite-making workshop. And he spent the whole afternoon looking after Shu Yu. One was hoping to treat him to a meal. <sighs> oh well. One will just have to extend one's thanks in person. It's rare for someone to make such a good impression on you, Cloud Retainer. <laughs> one has high standards. Oh yes. Even more surprising, Shen Yun isn't too prideful to find another designer. True. But it's a good thing she did. He appears to be a young man of much merit. And one is not the type who would see such potential squandered. Ooh, soft shell crabs. I haven't tried soft shell crabs, actually. It appears that he wishes that to break idea. free from the kite string that tethers him. Mm. Oh, okay. I've tried the small ones, like the really small ones where, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just fry them and then and then you can like crunch the entire thing. I haven't seen them in the I don't know if they come in the size that these golden crabs are, though. Kite string. Huh, what strange metaphors you speak in, Shenhe. Ever since you returned from one mean restaurant, your turns of phrase render one at quite the loss. Where do we even begin? Oh, do you know about the conflict between Ga Ming and his dad, Xinyin? The crow, thank you for gifting the salted scissors also. Thank you. One has only heard that the two are not on good terms. He ran away from home and hasn't been back since. Oh? Ran away, you say? Huh. One believes we would all benefit from a more thorough retelling. Start from the beginning. Oh, okay. Paimon just hopes he won't mind. True. What? Hmm. This shall not do. Oh, no. <laughs> Lantern right fast approaches. We must make haste. Oh. As one was contacting various tailors around Liyue, one could not help but be reminded of Minogius. He possessed a singular talent for clothing design. Oh. He had an exquisite eye, not just for fabric selection and color pairing, 
but also for what accessories could best accentuate a garment's overall styling. At a gathering of Adepti, Bonanus once complained in secret to some of the ladies in attendance that the skirt Monogius made for her was too long and impractical, oh. lamenting that it would only hinder her in battle. Damn. However, when one asked Monogius' opinion, he remarked that the train of the skirt would serve to enhance her adepto countenance by exemplifying a certain elegance. Monogius was that type of person. When it came to topics relating to garments and accessories, not even Rex Lapis could best his stubbornness. Damn, Minogius loved fashion. And later... I love that. <clears throat> uh, one seems to have strayed off topic. One means to say that Lantern Rite should be a day of reunion. Mm. It is a time to address problems before they turn into regrets. Fate is fickle. The cruel reality of this world is that suffering and misfortune can befall any of us without design or reason. If there is a chance for young people to remain insulated from this reality, one should do one's utmost to make it so. That's nice and all, but... but... Do you have any ideas, Cloud Retainer? Hmm. Perhaps so... adeptal arts could be fused. Oh, no, no. Me mechanics, perhaps. One fails to see use in a situation such as this. Is there anything I, I can tell? help? What are they gonna do? It's like you can't you can't fix a, a relationship with a parent that easily. Is it choppy? Okay, if it's choppy, then we take a, a quick break to wait for it to un unchop. Zhongli doesn't really seem to be the stubborn type. Well, he doesn't seem like the stubborn type now, but I'm sure that like back when they were you know still like the mighty gods before before Leo modernized itself then they had like their own invention contests and then of course Rex Lapis like had to be stubborn and rock solid to lead all those armies into war and stuff so Shenyun getting into family therapy yeah I, I'm like is Shenyun going to uh is she gonna try to therapize Gaming or something? Question mark, question mark, question mark. I have no clue. Used to be like Etho in his youth? Is it? Is it? I don't know that piece of lore. I haven't, I haven't, um, well, I don't know the, those are voice lines, but I haven't, like, read Cloud Retainer's, Shan Yun's voice lines. So, I'm not sure what else I could, um, where that lore could be found. <laughs> All right, lore watchers, lore audiences, lore keepers, lore viewers. Tell me what you know about this stubborn Zhongli. All right, can we check the audio? How's the audio now? Is it still uh, crackly? It's good. Audio good. All right, let's go. Thank you. Aha. Uh -huh. Or letting Juan me know. has an idea. How about this? Does that make sense to everyone? Yep. Oh, Paimon really hopes this works. Hm. One's designs never fail. Now then, I counsel rest for all, and to make the necessary preparations. One shall see you in two days. Another two days. Okay. All right, we have this to do in the meantime. Ah. Oh. Okay, give me a second, chat. I need to bathroom break again, BRB.
All right. Game time. Gaming with gaming. Oh yeah. Yeah. Skyward. Hello. Congratulations on getting it together. <laughs> uh huh. Brand new activity. Oh, okay. This is the uh, active activity, active um, physical activity event. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Challenge starting here. Yeah, skyward, scatter. Okay, you must reach your destination while collecting Jade Lotus lanterns. Okay, ominous lanterns. I see cutting planes. Oh. Cutting plan cash advance. Okay. Issuing over here. Oh, okay. I should have waited for them. I see. Okay, and then finish here. All right. Next stage, then. At least we got all all the uh, points, all the prizes. from her shop. Okay. It aims higher than you should. Uh. Ominous lanterns before you will regularly turn into tranquil lanterns. Okay, so I have to aim a bit lower, honestly. Yeah. Ooh, I got some of them. Oopsie. Next stage. 
Yeah, I like the co-op uh, activity a lot. <laughs> it's so chaotic. During the next golden card of sleep, you'll score double points. Okay. Hmm. All right. I think I hit one of the uh, ominous lanterns. Have I got all of them? Oh, I did. Okay. Nice. Ooh, we hit the 5,000. Nice. You like the Guoba rabbit puzzle? <laughs> I liked it too, I liked it too. There are some uh, good puzzles in there. Perfect on that one, very nice. Ooh, got those. All right. Ooh, nice. Turn, yeah. Wait, shit. Where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, 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 oh. Sorry. I didn't get that one. Jamel, welcome in. Alright, one more. Alright. Now, <laughs> what is the fastest way there? Probably from here. This is the final, yeah, the final one. <laughs> Doing good, we're just uh, finishing some challenges. And then after that, we're gonna finish the Lantern Ride quest. Okay, there it is. There we go. Oh no, I don't think I got it! Man. <laughs> Come on. Nice. Nice. Okay. Please don't make me swim. Got them all! 
<laughs> you just like waiting for those lanterns. I know, right? It kind of kind of breaks your momentum. No, lantern right ends next week. There's still seven more days for it, which is quite nice. All right, festive affairs. Now it's time to put it into action. <clears throat> two days later, another two days later, eight to 12. All right, got it. Does this work? Eight to 12, is that, is that true, Lina? You really enjoyed the music in this mini game. Yeah, it was really cute, right? <laughs> Ooh, I like seeing Fontaine from here. It's time to carry out the plan! Oh, it is! Let's go find Ga Ming! Hope it's everything goes go. well. Alrighty! Can't wait to see you, Ga Ming! Alright, I'm gonna put this uh, dialogue on auto so I can eat a bit while we do it. Yeah! yeah. Skyward! Scatter! Oh no, I got blocked. Hi, coming! Paimon sees you've certainly gotten an early start this morning. Playing games already, are we? Who won this time? You the one buying dim sum again? Hey, when you put it like that, it makes it sound like I'm always the one losing. Ah, perfect, you're all here. Uh, there's an important commission I need your help with. All right, I've got the time. Where are the goods? Uh, it's not just goods this time. I need you to escort a tea merchant and their wares from Chaoying Village to Liyue Harbor. A very important client has requested to meet with him. Sure. Uh, what's this merchant's address? Well, here. If the client's that important, then this must be a very it's his crucial, father, very isn't it? commission, right? Um, it's his father. Of course, the sooner you complete it, the better. I would advise you to depart as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. They're setting him. They're setting him up. <laughs> All right. Um, don't work too hard now, Longjo. We'll set off then. What's for lunch? Just salad. You're a bit quiet today, Gaming. Oh, do you want Paimon to tell a story? Uh, we're almost there. I'll take a rain check on that. Hmm. Aww. Poor Gaming. <laughs> They're just bringing this one on him. Hello. You must be the tea merchant heading to Liyue Harbor. We're here to escort you. Oh no, <laughs> awkward. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. Rip. Dad? <sighs> oh, so you're Gaming's father. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, Paimon played dumb. <laughs> Just leave this delivery to him. Trust Paimon, he's got this in the bag. Gaming is super good at what he does. Everyone at the Secure Transport Agency says as much. Even the Ministry of Civil Affairs has nothing but good things to say about him. Seems like you've made some sort of name for yourself, at least. <sighs> oh, no. The... the goods are all in order? Yes, they're all here. Oh, no. Then let's get going. Uh... <clears throat> if you just didn't show up. Plus, you'd be missing out on a huge money-making opportunity. I see. 
I suppose I will have to trouble you all to escort me then. Let's go. Oh my god, this was their plan? I don't think it's going that well. Dude, that cringe emote is so funny though. Where's pointing us? Where's, where's the... Oh, okay, okay. Wang Shu in. Okay, okay. Well, I'll have room for uh, other in-game stuff next time, Hamza. <coughs> Today we are focusing on Lantern Rites quest. We've been walking for so long. Is anyone tired? How about we stop and rest for a bit? Hmm. I'm fine. Uh, coming. Don't you usually have some delicious snacks on you? Come on, bring them out so we can share them. Um, fine. Thank you. <laughs> Damn. This place looks nice and open. Why don't you all rest here for a second? Huh? What about you? You're not going to join us? I'm not tired. I'll keep watch. <laughs> you sound so sad. Oh, Just let him go. Share amongst ourselves, then. Did you know, Uncle Ip, that the flavor of these cakes changes depending on... Halt! Who goes there? It appears that one's <laughs> movements were overly conspicuous. <gasps> no. Enough of your musings. Focus. Focus on the matter at hand. No way! Present your exquisite ornaments at once. Dude. Indeed. Bring them forth readily and without protest. Dude. Ah! What do we do? It seems as if these two are acting alone. It won't be difficult to subdue them, but they might have something else waiting in store for Dad. The best way to keep him safe is... Leave this to me. I'll handle them. Traveler, Paimon, take my dad and the goods away from here. No, Kaming. It's too dangerous. This is what I do. A thorny foe, indeed. A thorny Let foe! Let us depart and seek a target softer in blows and disposition. Oh, my... Uh, don't think I'm gonna let you off so easily. <laughs> oh, no. Are they away. ready? Let us away! Oh, I saw Cloud Retainer in Coming. the background. Don't worry, he's a great fighter. Paimon's even seen him take down a dozen or so treasure hoarders all by himself. <laughs> but coming... I... Oh, my God. <sighs> If he had just stayed by my side and learned a family trade, he wouldn't have to put himself in such dangerous situations. Well... We just have to trust him. Let's go on ahead. We'd best get away from here, in case there are other bandits in the area waiting in ambush. Oh, yeah, other bandits. Okay, Cloud Always Retainer, we see you. Plan. Okay, we should be good to stop here. Young Lee? Oh no, what is he doing here? Oh my god! <laughs> Wait! Good sir, please listen to me. Reel in your line and leave this place as quickly as you can. There are bandits in the area. That's why is he playing Who Does Kite? That's so, that's so random, like a wild encounter, bro. Yeah. Encountered a wild Zhong Li. Acting in broad daylight. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh huh. Yeah, Paimon, you got this. Ah, I see. Oh, wow. It appears many people are catching a chill as of late. If your throat is bothering you, Paimon, perhaps some tea and rest are in order. <laughs> okay, I actually uh, thought. Jolly nope, might catch no on, need, but no. Nope. Need. Hyman's fine. She just uh, had some cake stuck in her throat. Oh dear. Okay. Uh, if there is, are is indeed he? bandits in the area, then we should inform the Millilith at once. Uh huh. Okay. Oh. 
Well, if that's the case, uh -huh. such matters are best left to those with the necessary expertise. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, wow. Zhongli actually got the brain cells uh, on him. I suppose him. you're right. If ordinary people like us got involved, we would only cause more trouble. Since we find ourselves otherwise unoccupied in this beautiful area, why don't we find a quiet place to relax while we wait for good news? Hmm. That would be lovely. Ah, yes. Old man to old man. They're going to speak in old man speak. <laughs> and Zhongli will teach uh, Gaming's dad about family. So, uh, Uncle Ip does have a reason to be worried. After all, Gaming, the guard we mentioned, is his son. Gaming. The name sounds somewhat familiar. Ah, yes. That is the name of the Usho dancer who has been performing around Liyua Harbor recently, is it not? Oh, have you seen him perform? Indeed. I cannot help but admire his skill. He truly encapsulates the spirit of the Suani. Usho dancing has Jolly become more well-known in Liyua Harbor recently. However, although performers are seeing budding success, they have no doubt had to face many hurdles along the way. One's not so easily understood by spectators such as ourselves. If you ask me, what truly deserves admiration is perseverance in the face of adversity. That is a rare attribute indeed. Mm -hmm. I have heard many of my acquaintances praise Gumming for his kind, selfless, and courageous disposition. To have a child so accomplished and upright, you must be a very proud parent indeed, Uncle Lip. Uncle Yip. <laughs> Seems like Jean Lee has decided to skip the formalities. Uh, well, he. He's a hard worker. Yes. Jean Lee's so good at this. You should be sure to tell him you think that when he gets back. Mm hmm. I. <sighs> Your son is young yet. It's normal for someone his age to be a bit hot headed. It's understandable to find talking about such things in person difficult. If there's a particular sentiment you wish to convey, perhaps we could pass it along for you. Yeah, don't give him the no, easy no. way out, Chong Li. It wouldn't be right to ask that of you. Yeah. <sighs> this thing between us has festered for many years now. In truth, there are some things that simply aren't easy for us to talk through. Mm. I've been in the tea business for most of my life, and I always hoped my child would do the same. Otherwise, how would he support himself? Over the past few years, I heard how well he was doing for himself as a guard. How his work was taking him to farther and farther off places. <sighs> I also heard that he never gave up on Wu Show dancing. It made me happy. But I was also worried. When you're young, you can handle all that physically taxing work and manual labor. What young person isn't capable of making a living that way? My concern is what happens when you get old. Every time I get to thinking like that, I cannot help but be reinforced in the belief that I was right. That I was right not to give in. My guy. I often regret introducing him to Wu Show dancing as a kid. If I had known how things would turn out, I would have never taken him to see those performances in the first place. It is only natural for a parent to strive to send their child down the right path. No one would begrudge you that sentiment, Uncle Ip. You need not worry. You seem quite young, Mr. <laughs> Zhang Li. Yet you that speak with such wisdom. Perhaps I have misjudged your age. Gravely. <laughs> your words are too kind. Truth be told, one of my old friends has several grown daughters. Oh, he means genuine. Rather than fretting about their future, Aww. however... She prefers to let them find their own way. That's so cute. Then she's more easygoing than I could ever be. I fear I lack such an open mind. 
Uh, oh, I meant to say earlier, there is no need to be so polite. Uh, feel free to call me by my name, Ipdak. <laughs> sure. So, do you also think I fret too much, Mr. Zhongli? <sighs> That's not exactly what I was hoping to convey. Only a fool would ask a parent not to worry about their child. But think of it this way. So far, Raising a child is not unlike flying a kite. Hold the string too tight, and it can no longer soar. Damn. As my friend once said, if your children are aiming for the stars, clipping their wings will only cause them to come crashing down. You need to let out the line for a kite to soar. <sighs> It seems I was too stuck in my ways. You need not reproach your heart for caring. You simply need to loosen your hold a little. Indeed, with such a big heart, why not allocate the time you usually spend worrying about Gaming to the pursuit of other things? Like going for a stroll, drinking tea, or taking in the scenery. You never know what surprises could be in store. Things can change in the blink of an eye. Mm. <laughs> The blink of an eye, you say. Do things change so quickly? Uh, for Jean Children Lee, they grow do. up in quite the same way, do they not? Day after day, year after year, sometimes in the blink of an eye, but always when you least expect it. As a father, I'm sure you know that best. <laughs> yes, you can say that again. One second, Gaming was a kid. The next thing I knew, he was ready to fly the nest. Sean Lee certainly has a way with words. <laughs> He's using his daddy powers. Oh, Gaming is back! Hey, Gaming, we're over here! Dad, Traveler, Paimon. Good, you're all here. Oh, and Mr. Zhong Lee from the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? You're here too? Gaming knows everyone. <laughs> <laughs> a fated meeting indeed. We were just enjoying some pleasant conversation. Uh, is everything resolved? Well, you could say that. What does that mean? Traveler, Paimon, come with me. I need to talk to you. Oh no, mm. did he find out that this is a, this is a uh, plan? This is a trap? Oh, okay. If I'm a, is, is Gavin gonna get mad at us? <laughs> oh no. I'll come right out and say it. Those two bandits, you sent them, didn't you? Uh, <laughs> uh, so that's how we're starting off? <sighs> Can't look me in the eye, huh? I guess I'm right then. Oh no, he's mad. Okay, but how did you know? At first, their mannerisms seemed a bit stilted. But once I got close, it was obvious that they possessed great skills. I was right on their tail, and it should have taken only a few steps to catch up to them, yet somehow, I was never able to close that distance. People with that level of skill would have gone about things differently from the start, like sneaking up on us while we were distracted. Unless, of course, their real motive was to lure me away from the group all along. Wow, you're pretty quick on the uptake. I just have a lot of experience. I've dealt with many a ruthless bandit in my time, but I've never seen ones like them. In the end, I told them they would make good guards if they ever wanted to get back on the straight and narrow. And that they can <laughs> hang out with me and leave you a harbor anytime. <laughs> That's straight and uh, narrow. Oh my god. Ever gosh. consider you might be a little too good at making friends? I'm guessing you guys were trying to help resolve things between my dad and me. <sighs> I appreciate it. I, I really do. But this conflict between us has been going on for a long time. Mm -hmm. Even if those two were real bandits and I was able to subdue them and show them what I was capable of, it, it wouldn't change anything. Unless. I've seen the way he talks to me. It's not like that at all! Your dad really cares about you. You should see the way he talks about you when you're not around. Zhang Li was talking things through with him and he nearly agreed to let it go. <sighs> you don't believe us? He won't let it go. He can say as much as he wants to other people, but he won't talk to me. I'm certain of it. <sighs> you told us you wanted to prove yourself to your dad. Why don't you tell him about all the hard work you've done these past few years? Oh boy. Will that even do anything? I'm not sure talking is enough. You won't know unless you try. Just like how you won't know if something is delicious unless you taste it. <laughs> Damn, Paimon. Listen to us. 
it's time to put these people skills to good use. You can make friends with anyone, so why not your dad? <laughs> I'll do my best. You got this coming. <laughs> you are very knowledgeable, Mr. Zhongli. I'm impressed. Oh, yeah. Despite my being in the tea industry for several decades, it seems, I still have much to learn about the art of tea tasting. You flatter me. It was nothing but a few humble musings. How much tea have you drank since we've been gone? <laughs> Do they not need to pee? <laughs> <laughs> Ip Doc and I have found many a common interest. Our friendship, much like a cup of tea, seems to grow stronger the longer it has to steep. Well said, Mr. Zhongli. Gaming, Mr. Zhongli is very knowledgeable. You should take the opportunity to learn from people like him when you're in the city. Huh? Oh, uh, of course. Ahem. <clears throat> Zhongli? <laughs> Zhongli's like, yes, Pylon? <laughs> I have very much smile. enjoyed our conversation, Ipdok, but I, unfortunately, have some unfinished funeral parlor business to attend to. And then he just goes to flying Huta's kite. <laughs> oh, I, I hope I didn't keep you. My apologies for taking up so much of your time, Mr. Zhongli. No need to stay on my account. When you're less busy, let's find a time to meet. I'll treat you to dim sum. Oh, he's just like coming. It would be an honor. Zhongli, you two have a nice chat, all right? Hmm. Butao kite. So true. Yeah, I mean, of course, uh, Yiptak has very legitimate, like, concerns. Yeah. With, like, livelihood and well-being and health and stuff. But, you know... It's still the whole, you have to respect your children's choices at some point, right? So, it's not that Yiptak doesn't love Gaming, it's just that he doesn't respect his choices enough to love Gaming through that. Thanks for helping us talk things through with Uncle Ip. Good thing you were able to pick up on what we were putting down. I have been around the both of you for some time now. You could <laughs> say I have a certain level of expertise in that regard. So true. As for my role in the conversation, think nothing of it. I hardly did anything noteworthy. <laughs> you never change, do you? Uh, why did you have us walk all this way? Paimon thought we just had to go far enough to be out of earshot. Mm -hmm. A friend approaches. Oh. Hello. Oh! Oh! Sh Shao Cameo, okay. Shao! You're here too? I've been here the whole time. <laughs> He's like, duh. <laughs> A ghostly kite. Could that elusive director who be coming to Wangshu Inn once again? Nope. What is she doing here? Uh, I suppose it matters not. Given her relationship with Rex, well, Zhang Li, I might as well go pay my respects. And then it's like, oh, wait. <laughs> it's you. I thought you were Director Who. Ah, your arrival is most fortuitous. Do you want to try out this new gadget? The addition of the power source makes the takeoff more stable. It's just that... They're so cute. He seems quite immersed in the study of this device. He's like, why is Zhongli being weird? <laughs> I fear it's almost too stable. It completely negates the pleasure of seeing one's kite sway with the wind. It's a bit of a shame. In truth, I'm here because Director Hu dispatched me to purchase some items in preparation for Lantern Rite. I see. Much like she does every year. Much like she'll do next year, I would imagine. Hmm. Ugh. Am I wrong? Or has she once again sent you out to buy... What is it, sesame oil or something? <laughs> While we're on the subject, I do wonder why she is so obsessed with using sesame oil in the preparation of mixed vegetable dishes for lantern Because it's good. <laughs> A recommendation from Shang Ling, perhaps. What do you think, Xiao? I've only met Director Hu a few times. 
I'm hardly the best person to ask. Ah, and is that not a sign that you should visit Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor more often? It wouldn't hurt to grace the parlor with your presence now and again, when you are otherwise unoccupied. I like how Zhang Li is just telling Xiao, come visit me sometime, please. This one here is a traditional kite, one without any equipped mechanical device. Director Hu tasked me with studying the differences between the two to determine which one is of greater merit. Many hands make light work. Perhaps you could test out the other kite for me? All right. Aww. I have made my comparisons. If speed is what you're after, the mechanical kite is the better choice. Wonderful. I shall pass that information along to Director Hu. I'll leave these two kites with you. Perhaps you can find a few friends with which to partake in the activity. You might find it to be an enjoyable use of your time. That's us. We're the two friends. I mean, the few friends. Oh, uh, wait. Who enjoys kite flying? Us. Well, I would imagine someone of your talent and wisdom is more than capable of finding out. So, you were testing out the kites for Hu Tao and even roped Xiao into doing it for you? Paimon didn't ask earlier because the situation was uh, awkward. <laughs> yeah, I saw that prediction. Like, pyro, pyro users have, like, a family legacy thing. Willow, thank you for redeeming a character review, but I, um... I think I might have to refund that and do that on another stream because this stream's getting quite long and I just want to, like, focus on finishing the lantern, right? Sorry, I hope that's okay with you. I would hardly say I roped Xiao into anything. I simply sought the help of a friend. Besides, we did the testing together. I haven't bought them yet, so I will later on. Uh, seems like our pool of competitors is growing. Do you like kite flying, Xiao? I suppose I neither like nor dislike it. Although, watching a kite gradually ascend into the sky does bring me a certain peace of mind. Perhaps they're a bit like shell lanterns in that way. <laughs> mm. Kite flying is also a pleasant form of relaxation. Have you ever thought about making a kite shell? Cloud Retainer taught us how. We can teach you if you want. There's no need. There's no need? Why? Minogius was the only Yaksha among us who had an interest in matters of ornamentation and design. Aww. Oh, they all miss Minogius. When Lantern Ride is over, come find me near Pervasi's temple if you have the time. Oh, okay. Mm. Another, another one. Sure. It's getting late. I should go inform Director Hu of our findings. How has she been, by the way? Be sure to say hi to her for us. The last time I spoke to her, she mentioned that she would be visiting Chaoying Village in a few days. Oh. If you have the time, perhaps you could also make the trip. If you happen to run into her, you can pass along your regards in person. We'll keep that in mind. Take care, Xiangli. See you later. See you next time. Have I flown kites before? For high school science uh. projects, and it didn't go well. <laughs> Dad. I mean, uh... Son. <laughs> Uh, uh, you can go first. I don't have anything to say. Then I'll go. I still don't want to leave Liyue Harbor. Oh. Good start. I can't say I support that decision, but... <sighs> hey, let me finish before you get all worked up. Sit, Shinha, sit. You must be tired from your journey. Shall I pour you a cup of tea? Or would you prefer something else to drink? Oh my god, is Xianyan going to try to, like, emulate a good parent? The statue in the middle is Minogius himself. I was thinking that. Like, that is definitely a Yaksha when they showed the statue. No need. I'm not tired. They're gone, Master. Perfect. The time is nigh for us to make an appearance. <laughs> nigh to make an appearance. Oh, no. Do you remember the plan one recounted to you? Yes, Master. We aim to give them a demonstration of familial love. Okay, a good one. So I'll Not have whatever you are having. Normal one. Oh, my God. They are going to do it. This is so going to be so awkward. Oh, no. All right. What are Auntie Shenyun and Shanha doing here? Just how many people are involved in this scheme? <laughs> I suppose all I can do is just 
take a seat and see what happens. Gavin is like so tired. He's like so sussed out. Like, can you all stop? Perfect. I just so happened to have bought some Sunglow tea recently. It's quite the delectable variety. Or it would be if one has not been forced to drink it every day in the hopes of whittling down <laughs> one's considerable stash. You did that to yourself, one has girl. More than had one's fill already. Oh, forget it. Such thoughts detract from the present need to keep up the conversation. Mm. Has work been busy during the holiday season? Do you need my help with anything? Uh, drunk guests can sometimes cause trouble, but I deal with them as you taught me by pinning their heads against the table. Oh my god. <laughs> I hope that's effective. <laughs> uh? Uh? <laughs> Are Auntie Xian Yun and Shanuka serious right oh, now? Oh no. <coughs> oh. <sighs> oh dear. While one was busy orchestrating this act, oh my God. one seems to have forgotten about Shunha's various eccentricities. A cheering for you, Shunha. Mm. What, what, uh, what I meant to ask was, have you made any new friends? We live so far from each other. It would be a great comfort to me to know you were surrounded by good companions. Huh. You already know of my past circumstances. Oh no, Shunha's like... Plan what plan? Recently, I've been conversing with Guoba in the kitchen at night. Guoba can't talk, but his companionship is a comfort. Guoba can't talk! No, Shino, you just can't understand him. <laughs> the poor child. Oh, no! Her one friend can't even talk. No, not the out of context. I guess maybe Goblin is not <laughs> doing so bad after all. Oh, my God! Perhaps I've been too hard on him. Gavik's face is so done, man. <laughs> Let's move on, shall we? Do you have any plans for today, Shenhe? How about we do something fun? That sounds about right. Take her to do something fun, and perhaps she'll loosen up a bit. Mm -hmm. Like we used to do when we would carry stones up and down the mountain from dawn until dusk, picking herbs to eat for dinner along the way? If that is what you ask of me, <laughs> then that is what I shall do. <laughs> Cladrotator is so stressed, man. Oh my god. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> oh no. Dad, uh, here, have some tea. Or, or no, wait, let's not have any just yet. Oh my gosh. <coughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I simply... Can't listen to that any longer. You couldn't take it anymore. Coming. I'd like to finish what I was trying to say before. Uh-huh. I don't support your decision to stay in Liyue Harbor, because living there is too hard on you. If you come home, there will be people to help you. I'm not saying we have to live under the same roof. I know our personalities are too similar to avoid butting heads. But you'll have your entire family around you. Your aunts, uncles, they'll all do whatever they can to help. You could get a less taxing job, and we could... We could grab dim sum together from time to time. Hmm. Huh. I didn't know dim sum was such an important affair, Master. That was blunt. Shh. Just think about it, okay? You don't have to decide now. Dad really has changed a lot. He would never have said these things to me before. But I... Thank you, Dad. It's been long enough, don't you think? Oh, I'm unsure hopes they've made up by now. Oh, they're drinking tea in silence. That's not a good sign. Did Xianyan's plan not work after all? Sless, thank you for the raid! Welcome raiders! We're just finishing up the Lantern Right quest. If you have not played it yet, be aware of spoilers, but if you have, then feel free to come and lurk. Sless, I hope you are doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourself. It's so nice of you to raid me and to see you here. Anyway, we are uh, in this masterpiece of a scene. <laughs> Two? Paimon's sorry we were gone for so long. 
We got to chatting with some friends and didn't realize how much time had passed. <laughs> Perfect timing, actually. We seem to be just about done here. Yep, uh, let's go. I'll get the bags. Did they? <sighs> Gaming has grown a lot taller, hasn't he? Did they make progress? <laughs> I think they made a bit of progress, but there's still more progress to be made. Please get some good rest, Celeste. Thank you for the raid. Thank you. Dude, this... Oh my god, wait. There's two of them. This dad misses his son, man. Yeah. Perfect. Master, did I say something wrong earlier? I tried to go along with your questions, but when I saw how you and that man reacted, I started to wonder. Not at all. Certain unforeseen variables may have presented themselves along the way, but the outcome proved favorable. The plan was a success. Then I helped? Naturally. Naturally. Your purity of spirit is one of your greatest strengths, Shenhe. Aww. You need not change who you are. Aww. Sit with Ganyu. Yeah, let's, let's put in Ganyu. And uh, we'll get a family picture. Time to begin work? <laughs> They're so cute. I love them. Okay. Moving on. I need my uh, traveling. <sighs> All right. Do a harbor it is. Do I have all the characters? <sighs> On this account, no, but across my uh, accounts and alt accounts. I mean, across my accounts, yes. But on this sole account, I'm lacking a couple. You must be Mr. Ip. Thank you for coming all this way. Hmm. Hi, My Charlotte. name is Charlotte, and I'm a reporter from Fontaine. You can find me writing for the Steambird. I invited you here not just to purchase your fine tea, but also with the hope that you might be willing to sit down for a short interview. What do you say? <gasps> An interview? An interview? To advertise my teas? Mm. I suppose you could think of it that way. We Fontaineans are big tea drinkers, too. The Fontaine Market. Oh, wow. Imagine getting then into the Fontaine I'll need some Market. Time Damn. To adequately prepare. Perhaps we could sit down and discuss the questions you intend to ask in advance. Of course, of course. Please follow me. Is this person also involved in your plan? And here I thought I had lots of connections. I suppose I've been humbled. You sure know all kinds of cool and important people. Over here! Yoo-hoo! Over here! Mm. Huh? What? Auntie Shenyun? She probably wants to talk about the next phase of the plan. Let's go while your dad is still distracted. I love her saying, Yoo-hoo! Over here! Yeah, no problem, Celeste. Please do get some rest. And please, um, thank you for lurking. Have a happy, comfy weekend. And uh, the crow, thank you for gifting a sub to Miss Monkey. So kind of you. Thank you. I take it that all is going well? Yes, girl. Your plan is working perfectly. Don't worry, Shenyun. Everything is going according to plan. I knew it. I knew that was all an act earlier. Auntie Shenyun is really something. She was so determined to help me. She didn't even care about making herself and Shenhe <laughs> appear foolish in front of my family. She truly knows how to look out for others. Mm -hmm. I still have a lot to learn. Aww. Mr. Savage, welcome to the Academia. Thank you for joining the channel membership. Thank you, thank you. I hope you enjoy the emotes. 
As for the next step... Oh, no. What's wrong, Gaming? Don't tell me you're the ones footing the bill for all that tea. I can't let you do that. Fret not. Reimbursements will be made. Reimbursements. Exactly. I like Think those. Think of it more as an investment, as Ningguang would say. We pulled together the Mora so that Charlotte could place the order. She's going to bring it back to the Steambird as a gift, as well as a sample of the regional specialty. Fontanians will probably fall in love with your dad's tea as soon as they lay their eyes on Charlotte's article. And once all the money from the new orders begin to roll in, getting our Mora back will be a piece of cake. Oh, okay. Business-related matters always seem to go over my head, but I refuse to let you all lose Mora on my behalf. I'll pay you back right now. No, Gaming, don't do we that. We can talk about such matters at a later date. There are more important matters for you to consider at the moment, are there not? Yes. I've been thinking about it the whole way here. I have an idea, but I'd hate to cause even more trouble for all of you. Hmm. That is for us to decide. Yeah, we're all friends here. Plus, we wouldn't be here if we didn't want to help, right? Just tell us about this idea of yours. Okay. Whew. So, it's like this. Team Gaming, you got this, boy! Fix your family Good. relationships. Let's split up and make it happen. I'm so proud of him already. He's making amazing progress. Tasks, though, but we also still have the kite flying competition. Since Xiao already tested out those kites for us, why don't we also go buy one of those mechanical thingamabobs or whatever they're called? We can attach it to our kite. Yeah, I'm. I'm also live on Twitch right now. Thank you, the crow. Very much appreciated. Skyward! Oh, it's our kite stall. Hello. Hello again. We're back. Welcome back. I see you returned from your trip. I really do have to thank you for all your help from before. Thanks to you. My daughter was able to build a kite with her grandmother that very same day. Aww. She even wrote a long letter telling me how much she loved it. Oh, you should really be thanking Gaming, not us. Yeah, we'll buy the kites here. Uh, I'll be sure to. And are you here to buy a kite? Yes. Please, take your pick. I am here to buy a kite. Oh, we already have a kite. We no. have to buy one of those, um, device thingies from Fontaine. Do you sell them separately? Ah, uh, yes. Here you go. Please, take it, free of charge. The directions are in the box. It's not hard to install at all. Um, it doesn't feel right for us to just take it. Well, nor would it feel right for me to take your Mora. <laughs> Good luck in the kite flying competition. I'll be rooting for you. All right, then. Thank you. Oh, congrats on getting your Shen Yun. Yeah, I like Shen Yun's eyes also. They get so big. <laughs> <sighs> it's done. All right, flying Let's Paimon. Let's get down to business. Oh, the clock moved on its own. Hey yo. Looks like we finished everything we needed to do. Let's find a good place and put this thing into the sky. Wait. Wait for Lantern Ride to begin. Yeah! Skyward! Chi <laughs> Chi, we're almost there! Oh, they're so cute! Oh, they're so pretty. God, their hair. Especially. <laughs> Come here, allow me. Uh, oh, she's so tall. Oh. <laughs> the lantern right is as festive as ever. Huh? Oh, what's going on? Did something happen? 
What should we do? <gasps> should we get the Where are they going? Why are the lights going out? <gasps> Wait. What's that? Is it is it coming time? Water man. Charlotte. <laughs> Aww. Cute. Have I taken that many pictures already? Uh, I need to load more film. <sighs> oh my god, the Huta, the Buta okay. <laughs> Of the music. That was really good. And very pretty. <sighs> yeah. Godward. I think I'll head off now, if that's okay. Thank you, little girl. Do you want us to walk you back? No need. No need. Master is waiting for me right over there. Hmm. Hmm. Son. Son. Oh. <laughs> I suppose I'll go first this time. Okay. Your performance. I've seen many wushou dances in my time, but I've got to admit, what you pulled off there was breathtaking. Wow. 
I... I never thought I'd live to hear you say that. You're serious about doing this professionally? A absolutely. I, I know it'll be difficult, but... Then it doesn't matter. What I mean to say is, of course it'll be difficult. Yeah. But if that's your decision, if that's your dream, then it doesn't matter how difficult it is. Yeah. As long as you put in the work, then any obstacle can be overcome in time. Really, when I was young, I also... <laughs> Actually, how about we save that story of my past for another time? All I really want to say is, I've changed my mind. And much like this kite, you also deserve to soar to new heights. Yeah! Dad. Son. Oh, now he says it with a smile. Son? <laughs> Haven't heard that in a while. I bet you're wondering what's gotten into me saying all this. Well, um... <laughs> a little bit, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I know I've never found the chance to say this before, but... <clears throat> to me, Gaming... You've always been a great kid. <laughs> Alright, that's everything i <laughs> Did you have something you wanted to say or... Dad's like, I can't do this anymore, I'm good, I'm good. Your turn. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Seeing the two of them talk things through like this really gives Paimon a sense of accomplishment. It's all because of you, wow. <laughs> <laughs> now go. Over there, your friends are still waiting for you. Yes. Huh? But you came all this way. I'll be staying in Liyue Harbor for a bit longer. When you have time, we can grab dim sum together. Your treat, right? Yes. Dad. <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Go. <laughs> okay. Then I'm off. See you soon. They did it. Coming one. Coming dead one, two. That's quite the smile you've got there, Gummy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, really? <laughs> it's nothing to be embarrassed about. Hmm. I'd like to find and thank Auntie Shenyun, as well as everyone else who's helped me out. Oh yes, please tell me where they are, because I can never find all of them. If everyone has time, maybe we could all get together and go fly a kite. Chat, there's still an act four, right? It's like the epilogue or something. It's still, it's like the epilogue, I'm guessing. This is gonna be quite short, right? I think. June, hi June. Thank you, that's so kind of you to say. Thank you. It's so nice to see you here. I hope, I hope um, you enjoyed the story of this too. If you are so presently nice. unoccupied, Perhaps it's like half we an could hour. Stop a while at one's abode for some. All right, better oh. now than never. I know. I didn't expect it to be this long either, but like, actually, no. I kind of knew it would be long, but I was like, I can do this. <laughs> I have today. We can do this. Madra, thank you for shouting out, June. Hi, Valid. Okay, I, I did shed tears on that cutscene. Oh, okay, okay, twelve. Okay, we'll find them. Oh, Kaiman almost forgot. Didn't Xiang Li say Hu Tao was also planning on spending some time in Chaoying Village? I think we, we all did. So true. Day, right? Why don't we go have a look around? Maybe we'll run into her. All right. Um. 
I'm gonna go look for them. Well, let me go to Chai Village first. I want to finish the main quest. Got him! Yo, I missed. It started the cutscene anyway. <laughs> She could float around all day and never get tired. So true. Cream! Gummies! Fuel fruit! Hey, yo. Huh? Did you hear that? Sunshine! Blue skies! Good vibes! Right? <laughs> what is it? Oh, what is going on? Mm, that voice sounds really familiar. Well, we've got the time. Why don't we go check it out? Um. Uh-huh. Who this? <gasps> what are they doing here? What are they doing here? Hello? Nadia, come on! Oh my god! Wait, I did not expect like I did I oh my gosh. Hi. Uh, well if it isn't my dear partners. <gasps> oh. See, I told you that something good was going to happen during our travels today. I have to say, sometimes the Steambird's astrology column is spot on. Oh my gosh. It's just your lucky day. Are you guys also here to catch the festivities? Oh, and that reminds me. Happy Lantern Rite! Clorinde, where is your drip marketing, huh? Oh my gosh, Jogli uh, playing Hawkeye Star Rail. I'm so sorry, Stream Elements is sneezing a bit. I'm so sorry. Happy Lantern Rite. Happy Lantern Rite to you too! Uh, wait, if you're here for Lantern Rite, then what are you doing on top of this deserted mountain? So true. And that voice we heard, that was you, right, Navia? <laughs> oh, impressive. You could tell it was me from that far away. You've got good ears. I couldn't tell that. I couldn't place it. I was like, that can't be Huta, right? That or your voice is just really loud. Well, of course it is. After all, I'm a boss. <laughs> Indeed. I suppose it's an asset. Sure is. Having a loud voice is a handy tool when it comes to communication. Wait, wait, wait. That wasn't even Paimon's point. Paimon just wants to know why you two were shouting from the top of this deserted mountain. There was something about almonds, maybe? And beautiful fruit? Ooh, is it some sort of secret code? No, it's not a code. The words are meaningless. Perhaps, but the act of <laughs> shouting was very meaningful indeed. That's just what mountain climbers do, right? After all the hard work it takes to make it to the top, as you stand on the summit looking out at the vast scenery, it's not easy to resist the urge to release those emotions. <laughs> exactly. You get me, partner. I was afraid that it would cause a disturbance, so <laughs> I asked the locals around here That's and funny. they said it was fine. Apparently, most hikers like to shout when they get to the top, so the locals are used to it by now. I want to try that. So, I don't hike a lot, see, but I will shout just me. when I get I on top. I guess everyone shouts from the top of a mountain at some point in their life. Uh, speak for yourself. When you're stressed, don't you ever just get the urge to do something for no reason? Yeah. Mm, not really. If I ever get stressed, I just go hunting. Damn. Oh, that's a pretty good way to relieve stress. Hmm. What I choose to hunt depends on my mood. Oh. Huh? People. Hmm. <laughs> 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 anyway, why don't you two give it a try? Shout anything you want. It's a real stress reliever. Hmm. As long as Paimon has clothes on her back and food in her belly, Paimon doesn't think there's any stress that needs relieving. Oh, I bet you guys are just too embarrassed to let loose. No True. need to be shy. Even Farina was shouting from the top of this mountain earlier. What? Huh? Did Paimon hear that right? Farina's also here? In Chaiyang Village? Believe Where in your is ears. she? It is indeed as you heard. Where? Actually, the reason we climbed this mountain in the first place was also because we heard the sound of shouting. Yes, uh, we could just about make out someone yelling <laughs> things like, Help me! And what should I do? So we hurried up here to check it out. And what do you know? Oh my Miss god! Miss was standing right there, all red in the face. Oh. She practically sprinted back down the mountain the minute she saw us. That's so cute. Ah, that reminds me. I believe what she actually said was, 
So help me, I will figure out what I should do about this script. Damn. Uh, so, you could actually hear what she was saying? Why didn't you say so earlier? I thought someone was really in trouble. I figured we would come check out the situation either way. Why not let her keep some privacy? Oh, seems like you caught Farina in the middle of some stress relief as well. She probably would have never thought... No, she definitely would have never thought she would run into anyone she knew all the way out here. I think so. Uh, we ran into Nervalette on the way here as well, huh? but he was already on his way back, so they probably weren't together. Dude, what? What? Nervalette was here too? So many Fontaine people. What was people. he doing here? It couldn't have been for vacation. I think it just might have been, actually. But apparently he only stayed for half a day before heading back. He's a very busy man. This mm. crossover. Nevelet is not the type to take much time off. Taking even a half day for himself is already a huge step in the right direction. Didn't Charlotte publish an article on the Liyue tea industry recently? Maybe he was inspired to come buy some tea after reading that article. But... You know, just like you were. Does Nevelet like tea? Does he count it as leaf water? My situation is completely different. I'm here because I was asked to accompany you. The... Tea purchase is simply an added bonus of this location. You Fontanians and your tea drinking. Oh, it's not. Where's for Ridesley? Me. I lost a bet with Ridesley. <laughs> oh, okay. And now I have to buy him something. Uh -huh. It was just a spur of the moment sort of bet. Ridesley gets really invested in that sort of thing, but he couldn't care less about what he wins in the end. You could give him mint plants that you plucked from the side of the road, <laughs> and he wouldn't even mind. Wow. Uh, if only he was that easy going when it came to talking business. In any case, I'm pretty sure the tea you bought is this region's specialty. What is it called again? Ah, uh, Nervalette even mentioned it earlier. Buy ten boxes, get half off. Yes, yes, that's the one. You didn't really buy ten boxes, did you? <laughs> Please, do I look like someone who would fall for that sort of marketing trap? Yo, Bob! <laughs> Bob, thank you so much for this the rain. Oh my god. So we <laughs> uh YouTube chatters, Bob on Twitch has raided us over here. It's funny we have like chatters saying 411 and others saying 311. Thank you for the raid. We are finishing up the uh Lantern Right quest. I hope I'm not spoiling any of you, but if I am spoiling any of you, it's time for you to scatter. But if uh, if you'd like to stick around as we finish this quest, please do. Thank you so much for the raid. I am very grateful <laughs> for the 411 raid. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I hope you had a good stream. <laughs> we're, we're, we have like a lot of surprises here. Ah, that reminds me. You guys said you only came up here because you heard my voice, right? I hope it didn't put you out. You must have had other plans for the day. Oh, that's right! Hu Tao! Yeah, Hu Tao! We met so many Fontanians, we forgot all about Hu Tao! A few days ago, we heard that a friend was going to be in Chaoying Village, so we decided to come and see if we could run into her! Oh dear, we've been chatting for quite some time. I'm sorry for keeping you. <laughs> that's good. We should probably head out and look for Hu Tao. Not gonna lie, I was kind of just... I was getting carried away by, um... By Clarence and Navia's dialogue. I just, they, you know, they, they're so... No need to stay on our account. They were pretty dynamic account. with that. We just got I up like here, that. so we're going to stay around for a little longer. Mm. Go and meet your friend. We can meet up in Chaoying Village later. Sounds yes, good. Please. We're going to head down the mountain then. See you later. All right. What did they say? What do I have to do to get you to yell from the top of this mountain? Name your price. That's cute. You really want to hear it that bad, huh? Yeah, I want to hear Clarence yell. I'm just curious is all. I have a feeling you'll say something amazing. <sighs> I will pass. I prefer to let actions speak louder than words. Ah, yes. Clarence, where's your drip marketing? I need to know. I know. Thank you for such a huge raid. Alrighty. These, this landed right has been a hoot. Oh my god, wait. Wait, is this... Is this the crossover I've been waiting for? Chaoying Village is known for its tea. But you know what else they have with tea? That's right, dim sum! Didn't Gaming say 
something about dim sum being eaten in the morning? Oh, Paimon wonders if we can still get some at this time of day. Thank you, Juans. Oh, well, that's fine, too. Paimon doesn't care what kind of tea it is as long as it comes with some tasty snacks. Now, let's see what kind of yummy things we can find around here. Uh... Paimon's not uh -huh. seeing things, is she? Is that Farino standing mm -hmm. between Zhongli and Hu Tao? Whoa. wonder what they're talking about. Mm, Zhongli knows a lot of stuff. Maybe he's telling Farina about Chow Ying Village. Is it you or is there no sound? Is there a sound chat? Is the sound going okay? Oh, or maybe Hu Tao is trying to rope Farina into being one of her clients. Want to make a bet? Oh my god. Not Hu Tao finding new clients, please no. Hey, this isn't the Fortress of Meripede. But Paimon could be convinced for the right price. Let's say... Loser buys the winner three huge bowls of seafood kanji. Dude, what is this bet? What is this? <laughs> Since Zhang Li is there, I'm a bet things are pretty tame. And then it turns out they're talking about something completely whack. It's decided then. Paimon votes for tour guide Zhang Li. Hmm. Right, Hustler no Hutao. Let's go see who's right. I'm on Hustler Hutao. I feel like we're going to get both, actually. What is that Paimon dance? <laughs> oh, great. Now Paimon shouting too. Oh, well, aren't you a sight for sore eyes? Seems like our luck just keeps on growing. That we were able to meet you both without prior arrangement must mean that this is quite the serendipitous meeting indeed. Mm. Uh -huh. Oh, so both of you are acquainted with the Traveler and Paimon uh, then? Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you didn't learn that one from me. Um, I must admit, I am a bit surprised to see you here, Traveler. But seeing as you're a hero who's been all over to that, it makes sense that you would be well-traveled and well-connected. Since we have found ourselves in each other's company within this fertile land, fertile allow land. me to take this opportunity <laughs> okay. to wish you a happy lantern rite. Happy lantern rite. It appears you have been to Fontaine, then, given your proclivity to spread good deeds wherever you go. It's no surprise that you would make the acquaintance of a celebrity as illustrious and celebrated as Miss Farina. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's quite high praise. Is this the first time we've seen them interacting? I know that Zhang Li has voice lines about Farina. Like, I've, re I've listened to his voice lines, but this is nice. What I mean to say is, you flatter me, Mr. Zhang Li. Does she know? Although I've built up a certain following within Fontaine, it is no reflection of strength or wisdom. I stand before you right now as nothing more than an ordinary traveler in search of beautiful scenery and creative in there is Oh sorry, I'm so sorry for you I cut you off. Meets the eye. Oh I could tell as much from our conversation earlier. Okay, yeah, okay. She doesn't know. She doesn't know. Given his breadth of knowledge on both academic and worldly matters. There's no way he hasn't heard about what happened in Fontaine. Is he just feigning ignorance for my benefit? No, 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 no. I, yeah. You're no common tourist. I simply won't have you talk about yourself that way. Huh? Does that mean Hu Tao also knows? You may not have heard, friends, but. Oh, she's gonna hustle. Uh, Miss Hu Tao. Miss Farina is now one of my esteemed clients. Yeah, of course we got both. Uh, uh, uh. Yep. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, okay, you win. Hmm, guess Paimon will have to break into the hidden stash at the bottom of her shoe. What the? <laughs> Did coins just clink in there? Dude, is what? <laughs> <laughs> Why did she have coins down there? Can you imagine her floating and you just hear coins clinking all the time? Uh huh? What's this about winning something? Don't tell me. You two were placing bets on us. Uh, it's Paimon's idea. No, not cremating the dreams. Uh, oh, we just saw you guys standing on the side of the road and couldn't help but take guesses as 
as to what you were talking about. Oh, I see. That means you, my friend, must have guessed that I was trying to promote my business to Miss Farina. Always. That I do, my friend. What was Paimon's guess then? Paimon thought Zhang Li was showing the newbie around. Ah, by newbie, you mean me, right? Paimon's fee. If that's the case, then Paimon's guess was also correct. Damn, now we just owe each other dim sum. Oh, that's right. Mr. Zhang Li was telling me about some great sightseeing spots in the area. Ha! You see? Paimon was right too! Since both of our guesses were right, there can't be a winner or a loser. Keep your foot coins, girl. Hey, don't be upset, Traveler. How about this? You buy Paimon a bowl and Paimon will also buy you a bowl. Oh, thanks. Uh, as for the third bowl... Since I was the subject of the bet, perhaps it should go to me? You know, as a congratulations for the huge deal I just struck. <laughs> I was just joking. Anyway, I should be the one treating you. The funeral parlor is about to bring in quite the sum after all. Oh, Paimon almost forgot to ask about the most important question. Did I... something happen recently, Farina? Huh? What do you mean? I... Uh... Well, you know, with you enlisting the services of Wangsheng Funeral Parlor and all. Yeah, I hope that's nothing bad. Oh, well, yes. Uh? Really? Oh, no. Paimon is so sorry for your loss. Although Paimon may have not known the person, please accept Paimon's deepest... Whoa, 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 it's not like that, Paimon. <laughs> oh, <it's so> <laughs> huh? But Paimon just thought, since you hired the services of a funeral parlor and all hey it's not that big of a stretch oh yeah i do know Tuanto. why do you ask really paimon it's not like you don't know me do i look like i know anyone who would ask me to coordinate their uh. funeral okay so it's this clientele Miss Hu Tao is simply helping prepare some props for my film. Oh. Not too long ago, I read a collection of horror stories from Liyue. The content was spectacular. In fact, I still feel the need to sleep with the light on even now. Interesting. Uh, <laughs> anyway, that's not the point. Now that Fontaine's biggest star has returned to the stage, I figured it's about time the industry enjoyed a breath of fresh air. Hey, <laughs> that's pretty good. I'll have to remember that for my ad posters. Oh, Paimon sees. That makes a lot of sense. So, did you come to Liyue just to enlist the services of Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? This could have been an email. Well, not exactly. My original plan was to just relax and enjoy the sights. But then I ran into Miss Hu Tao and Mr. Zhang Li, and, well, you know the rest. I suppose it was meant to be. It was a fated meeting indeed. Oh. Zhang Li yes. sure loves his lofty turns of phrase. Lofty. But if you ask me, it's all thanks to that man who stopped to ask for directions. Oh? Who was it? It's someone you know. Wanna <laughs> take a guess? Wait, the Zhang Li and have Zhang Li and Nivellet spoken. What? How did you guess that on your first try? Very impressive, my friend. Your guessing game is spot on today. Huh. Paimon never thought Nevelette would be the type to get lost. I'm sure he didn't get lost. <laughs> Even I was able to find my way to this place without any trouble. He was already getting ready to leave by the time I arrived. Mm. He just wanted to ask someone about the quickest way to get back to Fontaine. Uh-huh. Yep, that's exactly what he asked. This area is full of mountains and rivers. It's normal to not know the fastest route. So, were you the one that pointed him in the right direction, Hutel? Of course. I'm also a guide of sorts, you know. So naturally, I also have a great sense of direction. But, speaking of your friend... Uh-huh. What about him? He doesn't get out much, does he? <laughs> Wait, that's so true. That's so accurate, though. Ah, uh, no wonder. He was stiff as a board and way too polite. I would have never guessed he was here on vacation if you hadn't told me. All in all, he was only here for half a day. I'm pretty sure he is the only one who would consider that to be a vacation. Oh? 
This gentleman you speak of must keep a demanding schedule. <laughs> Jolie's like, I must meet him. I'm sure he does. He just you didn't see him, TikTok. but he was dressed like oh, no. he was about to attend some important meeting. That's a justice, It wasn't anything like what someone would wear on vacation. He doesn't change his uniform. Is that so? Mm. Wait, you didn't see him, Jolie? Mm. Unfortunately, no. Mm. At the time, it appeared as if Director Hu and Miss Farina were having quite the productive conversation. I know matters of business can take much discussion, so I decided to fetch some tea for them. Okay. What a shame. That gentleman seemed like a sophisticated sort of guy. I actually think you two would have hit it off. Is that so? What is that face? <laughs> Side eye, oh my god. Wait, Zhang Li's just like, hmm. <laughs> Good thing I wasn't there then. <laughs> that was such a good face though. Zhang Li knows. <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> Is that so? <laughs> <laughs> to borrow Miss Farina's turn of phrase, perhaps it just wasn't meant to be. Sure, sure, buddy. Totally didn't coincid totally coincidentally didn't get to meet Nivellet. Yeah, the one one person he didn't meet. Well, with the traveler around, I'm sure you'll have a chance to get to know each other at some point. That's right. She's got more friends than she knows what to do with. Well, that's certainly true. Oh, that reminds me. If you get the chance, you should try and talk to Nervalette into loosening up a bit. Just tell him the Palais Marmonia isn't going to fall apart if he disappears for a few days. <laughs> he shouldn't keep himself cooped up all the time. Even clams open their shells to let in fresh water every once in a while, right? If he's really that much of a stickler for protocol, he can fill out a leave of absence request. Wow. He'd uh, have to approve it himself since he <laughs> that sort of thing now, but... You know what I mean. I love that. Seems like this gentleman is also in charge of something pretty important. Uh, yeah. Hey, yeah. Uh, sounds like a pretty uptight sort of guy, all right. In my experience, a leader needs to be able to roll with the punches. That also includes knowing when and what to prioritize. It seems like your friend still has a lot of growing to do. If I remember correctly, He's already several thousands of years old. Uh, you're quite right, Miss Hu Tao. Oh? Oh, there's Clorin and Navia in the background. Traveler, Miss Farina. Those two individuals over there appear to recognize you. Oh, it's Navia and Clorin. Hey, over here! We saw you all chatting over here, and we're wondering if we could join in. Please. <clears throat> Um, please, excuse the interruption. Oh, <laughs> so polite. No apologies necessary. Any friend of the Traveler and Miss Farina is a friend of mine. Ah, <laughs> straight to the point. I like it. Oh, yes. <laughs> Hutao's eyes light up when she hears about Cloran's profession. Oh, dear. <laughs> I see a chest. Hmm, it's getting late. If we want to catch a boat back before dark, we should probably get going. Indeed. I forgot how close Chen Yu Vale is to Fontaine. I was like, how far did they have to travel exactly? And then I remembered, like, yeah, they have ports, like, near each other. Then, Miss Farina. Oh, uh, uh, yes? When are you planning to head back? Do you need us to escort you? Oh, um, I... I don't think that will be necessary. Clients from foreign countries, yeah. I mean, you're not my subordinate anymore. You don't need to look after me. Um, I didn't mean it that way. It's normal for friends to travel home together if they run into each other on the road. Mm, there are a lot of mountainous roads in this area. I imagine they'll be even harder to navigate after dark. It's just walking distance. <laughs> exactly. Just like in those ghost stories. Eight paths converge in a wood. Beside them, an old house is stood. If you dare to go inside, not a soul will greet your eye. Girl. But 
if you take a closer look, there may be something you mistook. A candle flickers to and fro, yet there is no wind to make it so. What is its secret? What could it mean? In this wood, where mystery screams. Ripperina. <laughs> No, uh, I mean, friends! <laughs> Please take me with you! <laughs> of course. <laughs> Gotta say, Farina, you are really quite the character. Dude, who had too much fun with that? <laughs> By the way, did I hear you mention that Clorand used to work under you? Then you must have also been a leader at some point. Uh, well, that's, uh, all in the past now. She doesn't know. Besides, being a leader is hard. It wasn't the right job for me. I prefer how things are now. I can come and go as I please and get to enjoy the sweet taste of freedom. Yeah. I see. Well, you've certainly picked an apt place to relax. Chaoying Village is an exemplary choice. Only the best. <laughs> and I've learned a lot, too. Thank you so much, Miss Hu Tao and Mr. Zhongli. It's fine. You've thanked us more than enough already. The next time you're in this neck of the woods, I'll treat you to some dim sum in the city. Dim sum. Dim sum. Is that some kind of liyue term for snacks or desserts? Close enough. They are a part of it. It's basically a table full of as much tea, sweets, and good company as you can manage. Oh, so it's basically a tea party. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds great. Make sure to order the winter melon cake and the lotus flower crisp. They're so sweet and delicious, Paimon knows you'll love them. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I'll be looking forward to it then. Wait, but didn't you guys say you were here on vacation? How come you're all going home? Yeah, where's your souvenirs? Of course I am. I bought tons of fun things to bring home with me. Oh, okay. Good. You better. A kite, a parasol, a little tin frog that jumps. Oh, and a stuffed toy of a mythical beast. A little tin frog that jumps, huh? Clorand is the one who didn't buy anything for herself. So all you're bringing back with you is that tea? And some tea-flavored hard candies. They're for Sijuin. Clorand Aww. isn't much of a shopaholic. Well, one of us has to practice restraint. Hey, I'm hardly reckless with my Mora. I'll have you know, all the purchases I made today were well within my budget. Me? You, oh, well, I bought some tea, of course. I just had to try all the varieties recommended in the Steambird. Other than that, just some bits and bobs, you know. <laughs> a little bit of this, a <laughs> little bit of that. They should all be things I can use, I think. Not the marketing traps. Uh, now Paimon's even more They're confused. too good. Ten boxes for half. If you bought that much stuff, where did it all go? Into one of Linny's magic packets? Oh, <laughs> actually, Monsieur Neuvillette took them with him. Oh? Huh? Oh, so that's what happened. Wait, what? Huh? Why did he take them? He's not hoarding treasure, is he? <laughs> <laughs> that's quite the imagination you've got there, Paimon. Monsieur Nervillette just saw the amount of bags we had and offered to take them back for us. That is so cute. I felt a bit bad at first, but, uh, I really did have a lot of stuff. <laughs> he even offered to deliver my gifts to the Fortress of Meripede for me Aww. once he's done with the day's work. Nervillette is a man of his word. If he says he can do something, then he means it. <laughs> Jean leaves there like, is that so? <laughs> See? Even Clorand was happy to take him up on his offer. If even his trusty subordinate agreed, then who was I to refuse? Wow, he seems like a real gentleman. Maybe he's not as uptight as I thought. If only the funeral parlor had an employee as thoughtful, proactive, and responsible as him. <laughs> Why are you making Zhongli awkward here? Right, Zhongli? Indeed. Clorand said Nervalette offered to deliver her gifts to Risley. So if we go to the entrance of the Fortress of Meripede, maybe we'll run into Nervalette. But we don't know exactly when he'll show up. OK. 
Okay, never that. Oh, right! Crap, I forgot to uh, talk to them. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, let me go back, let me go back. Are they still there? Uh... Yeah, I wanted to talk to them, okay. That reminds me, a new year of work is about to begin. If there's anything you want to talk about, Zhongli, you know you can come to me. I'm all ears. Does the director have any concerns? It just seemed like you were a bit preoccupied today, and much less talkative <laughs> than usual. He barely said anything other than, Is that so? Is that and so? Indeed. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if you ask me, I'd say you're having a midlife crisis. You're getting to be around that age, after all. Midlife. Is that so? Ah. Uh. <laughs> I jest. I jest. Wow. Given its distance from the city, Chaoying Village enjoys a much slower pace of life. Surrounded by such peace and tranquility, I also seem to have developed a proclivity for inactivity. Proclivity for inactivity, wow. I apologize for making you worry. Ah, um, I see. What do you think, Traveler? Is this atmosphere putting you in a lazy mood, too? Is that so? Indeed. Wow, you are getting really good at these kinds of lines. Indeed. Indeed. Uh, there they are. Well, everyone, make sure that you've got all your belongings with you before we leave. If there's any souvenirs anyone still wants to buy, the time is now. Reliable as ever, Miss President. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Glorand is right, though. You really are reliable. It's not what she's saying. It's the way she's saying it. I will say, but I never thought you'd be so easygoing outside of work, Glorand. The tone of voice you use when you're working doesn't exactly make you seem like the type who enjoys interacting with people. <laughs> well, I try to keep my professional and private life separate. That includes my behavior. You take care now, Traveler. Paimon. Ah, trying to act cool now, are we? <laughs> well, I guess it's not an act for you, is it? You are indeed quite strong. <laughs> oh, thank you, Clarence. It's been great talking that to you all. That means so much coming from I'm really from her. glad I decided to come to Chaoying Village. Maybe we could go on another trip together sometime? Yeah, girlie's traveling. <laughs> Okay, I need to talk to Nivellet, and I also need to finish this stream soon because my head is starting to hurt. <laughs> yeah, skyward, got him. Monsieur Nivellet, what is up, my dude? Tell me, did you really avoid Zhongli that hard? Yeah. Hello. Skyward. Look, it's Nivellet. We left out. Oh, it's you. It has been some time since our last meeting. <gasps> Hello. Wow, I forgot how tall he was. <laughs> Few people frequent this location. Since I was able to conclude my work early for the day. I thought I might take a walk and avail myself of this area's peace and quiet. You call and how broad early? his shoulders are. Do you always work this late, Nivellet? Strictly speaking, that depends on the agenda for the day. I am hardly bereft of time, however, so working late is of little consequence to me. Mm -hmm. Really? If you have so much time on your hands, then why did you only go to Chaoying Village for half a day? Hmm? First, I should clarify that I was referring to my lifestyle. <laughs> Rather than the time at my disposal on any given day. True, yeah. Second, I was unaware you possessed knowledge well, of my trip to Chaoying Village. Well, there was a lot of gossip, my dude. That's shoulder pads. Yeah, that's true. I see. Thank you for informing me. Yes, they have been safely delivered. <laughs> I have to hand it to Cloran. 
<laughs> I miss Riley's voice. Just a simple gift delivery, and she has the great and mighty Udex at her beck and call. I was just passing through. It was merely an act of convenience. All right. Then I hereby confirm receipt of the goods on behalf of the staff of the Fortress of Meripede. A verbal receipt of confirmation? <laughs> Is such a formality really necessary for a small matter such as this? Guess not. This quantity of tea, though, seems a little excessive for a gift. Is it ten boxes? <laughs> Before you know it, they'll start accusing me of taking oh, bribes. No. Ah, about that. Much of that is my own excess, I'm afraid. Oh, what? Oh? <laughs> Why? What happened? It was buy ten boxes, get half off. It was the ten boxes. Ah, that explains it then. Dude, this is a whole ass meme at this point. Well, go ahead and leave them to me. I'll get through this stash as fast as I can. You have my thanks. Oh, there's something else I'd like to give to you. This is... A stone slate, engraved with a symbolic design. Well, that is an apt description. It is, in actuality, a legal codex. Ooh. A legal codex, huh? Hmm. Before the advent of modern writing utensils, information was recorded on stone slabs such as this. The law was no different. Oh, okay. Since ancient times, the scales of justice have symbolized the fairness and impartiality of judiciousness. Mm. As a tribute to that sentiment, this slate was designed after a traditional legal codex and engraved with a symbol instead of text. During my travels recently, I chanced upon a roadside stall offering tourists the opportunity to try their hand at the ceramic arts. So I decided to have a go. We joked with Claran some time ago about gifting you a legal codex. So, here you go. That is a very long explanation for a joke, but okay. Ah. I mean, so that's what this is about. I did not expect you to remember it as well. In any case, I hope this can be considered as a reasonable attempt to join in on the banter. I would be so confused also. It is a very good attempt. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Even your sense of humor centers around the law. That's an impressive level of commitment. Well, a gift of this significance deserves to be put on display, and I know just the place. Front and center in the fortress's showroom. Ah, surely there's no need for such a grand gesture. Just kidding. <laughs> I don't have anything like a showroom. But we do have a storage room. We can put it next to all the mechanical parts Sijuin has collected. That sounds good to me. So that's what you were doing in Chaoying Village. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Of course, while I was there, I also took the opportunity to taste the local of spring course. water. Of course. The aftertaste is much purer than what I have delivered to me in Fontaine. Mm. It stands to reason that the long-distance transport has a tendency to imbue the water with extraneous emotion. If you want to experience the true flavor, you simply have to go to the source. Perhaps I should organize some time off to do the same elsewhere. He's just gonna go on a water-tasting trip. Then we are of the same mind. It appears my desire is justified. vacation right you can just take one dude everyone every working person everyone in the workforce these days feels like they have to justify a vacation including myself okay i'm sure including most of you after all you're hardly bereft of time you can do whatever you want you're quite right i suppose i suffer not from a lack of opportunity but rather a lack of inspiration However, after reading a few articles about Li Wei's holiday traditions, the idea popped into my head and made itself quite at home. Seeing as I was free of responsibilities for the morning, I decided to depart at once. How Refreshing. My spontaneous outing seemed to inspire quite a few other spontaneous mm. decisions as well. Take, for example, my foray into ceramics. Mm? At first, soil from the ground is granular and unforgiving, but had the right amount of water, and it becomes soft, moldable, and able to take shape. In the past, I never thought about how quotidian vessels were crafted, but now I have participated quotidian. in their very making. This is also something I made today. <gasps> Wait, it's so cute. It's so cute. Wait, oh my gosh. Hi, it's so cute. <laughs> That's a ladle? A 
big ladle. I thought it was supposed to be some long-necked sea creature. Nuva ladle, Jotini. <laughs> Nuva ladle, Loch Ness ladle. Yeah, I was thinking all those things, like the Loch Ness ladle and the yeah. That Jatini. was indeed one of my inspirations. Really, you like it? Yeah, I love it, Nuvalet. To tell you the truth, given your unexpected arrival, I find myself quite unequipped to give you the welcome you deserve around such an important Not holiday the such as this. <laughs> human custom would dictate that gifts should be in order, but I'm afraid this is all I can offer. If you'll have it, that is. I'll keep it, man. That is precisely why it would do me such a great honor if you accepted. You are most welcome. Happy Lantern Rite. Oh, that reminds me. Hmm. Approve a leave of absence request for myself. That sounds like it could easily lead to a vicious cycle of self-indulgence. <laughs> something which couldn't be in further violation of protocol. But... I suppose I understand her point. My proclivity to refrain from personal outings does, in part, originate from a sense of responsibility toward my duties. But it is also due to a lack of desire to engage in the human world. <laughs> Damn. Felt. Now I see that the human world is indeed full of many interesting places to discover. Wow, we finished that and we got the ladle! Wait, that is so cute though. Lantern Rite marks the start of the new year in Liyue. In the spirit of the season, then, I wish you a year of success as vast and endless as the open ocean. Damn. Okay. That ladle was really cute. Go back to Jade Mouth. Oh, there's more. Okay. Wait, no, that's the, that's the world quest already. Wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna go to Xiao. I'm gonna go find Xiao. I don't think I have the time to look for the other Lyra characters to today anymore on stream chat, but I will talk to Xiao because I promised him. Traveler. It's me. Being in the city isn't the only way for me to appreciate the lights and beauty of Lantern Right. Look. Liyue Harbor lies just beyond this mountain. As long as I stand at this vantage point. I may freely behold the sights of all the kites slowly ascending into the sky. Oh no, I didn't go right after Act 3, so the kites are gone. But I see the lanterns, but the kites are gone. For me, that is enough. I invited you here because there is something I would like to do. I want to release a shell lantern, and I'd like you to be there for it. <gasps> yes. I apologize for its crude appearance. I have little skill in that regard. You are very kind, as usual. Aw, oh, so cute. All right. It's time. Ah. Goodbye, Shao Lantern. Alrighty. Thanks, Shao. <sighs> oh. Traveler. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That suddenly very serious. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. Okay. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <gasps> that was that was so subtle though. <laughs> but like I liked it. Thanks. Thanks, Shao. Thanks, Shao. That was a very sincere thank you. Woo wee! Okay, chat. Well, we did it. We did it. This was like a very <laughs> long stream. But we did it. Hey, did I see the MTash cover? I did. I listened to it. I liked it. So, chat. Thank you for hanging out with me in this Lantern Rite stream. I chose to experience it all in one go and it was very fun, even if it was very even if it was very long, but it was very fun. So for those of you who stuck around, especially my mods, thank you mods for being here and keeping chat together and guarding chat. Thank you for being here, but chat, those who stuck around or lurked or popped in and dropped out, thank you so much for being here. 
I am very, very happy to see you here, and I'm glad that we got to enjoy this together. Lantern Rite is always a beautiful event, so... And welcome to the newcomers in chat in both Twitch and in YouTube. We got some awesome raids, and I know that some of you popped into YouTube for the first time today. So, very glad to see you here. Have a great rest of your day, or rest of your night. And uh, I'll be streaming Weathering Waves tomorrow on Twitch morning my time. So you can find me there, twitch.tv slash Sevi underscore plays. All right, chat. I will see you very soon. Goodbye. Goodbye, everyone.